After three reincarnations, Fang Xing finally touched the edge of martial arts. In the world of the Heavenly Dragon, what achievements would he achieve? Please stay tuned for the book Asking About the World of Martial Arts, which focuses on discussing martial arts. The plot is carefully crafted, and interested readers can come to my book friend group to exchange ideas. Mingdao Zhenren Book Friend Group 555317840 PS The original title of this book was Laughing Proud Divine Eagle Tian Long. Due to the inconvenience caused by changing the name, we hope everyone can understand. Keywords of the novel Asking about the world of martial arts without pop-ups, asking about the complete collection download of martial arts world txt, asking about the latest chapters of martial arts world reading. Chapter 1 Crossing Mount Hua You are listening at novelfull.audio On the Chaoyang peak of Mount Hua a young man in his thirties was walking around outside the wing room, his figure somewhat urgent. It was obvious that something important had happened inside the room, which made him quite worried. Upon closer inspection, his steps were swift but not chaotic, indicating that his skills were quite deep and he unconsciously used them. This person has the surname Yu and a unique name. He is the leader of the Huashan sect, in charge of the Huashan Gate. He was taught the Purple Cloud Divine Art by his teacher, and his martial arts skills are superb. With his elegant gentlemanly demeanor and a hateful personality, he has gained widespread fame and popularity in the martial arts world, earning the reputation of the Gentleman's Sword. He is a rising star in the righteous path of the martial arts world. His wife is also a disciple of the Huashan sect, with the surname Ning and the name Zhongzi. She is his junior sister and was known as the Huashan Jade Girl in the martial arts world before getting married. She is also quite famous in the martial arts world. The Huashan sect originated from the Chuanjin sect and has been renowned in the martial arts world for over 200 years since its founder, Hao Datong, established the sect. It was once one of the six major sects in the martial arts world, but many later generations have been disrespectful. It began to decline over a hundred years ago. Since the Qi Sword battle seven years ago, all the experts have died and are in a precarious situation. The Sword sect is almost extinct, and the remaining people feel that the Qi sect's victory is not very fair and upright, so they leave in frustration. The experts of the Qi sect have also suffered great losses. The younger generation is limited by their age and their skills are not as good as those of the Sword sect, with almost all casualties. The older generation of experts also suffered heavy injuries, and after the Qi Sword battle, they gradually died of illness. To this day, only Yu Buqiuan and Ning Zhongzi are considered experts in the Nuoda Huashan sect. The entire Huashan sect has only a few people, which is quite declining. Even the position of the Five Sacred Alliance leader, who has always belonged to the Huashan sect, has been taken away by the Songshan sect. Yu Buqiuan and Ning Zhongzi have been married for several years. The two of them have struggled to support their sect and have been wandering in the rivers and lakes for years to maintain the reputation of Mount Hua. It was not until a few months ago that Lady Yu realized she was pregnant that she returned to Mount Hua. It is now October when she was pregnant, and it is finally time to give birth today. As a great joyous event after the Huashan incident, this soon-to-be-born little life is not only Yubuchuan's first child, but also carries the hope of the Huashan sect. As a soon-to-be father, he naturally feels a bit nervous. Half an hour later, Yubuchuan's heart became more and more anxious, and his pace also showed a slight confusion. At this moment, a loud cry of, Wow! Wow! and the voice of the midwife saying, She gave birth. She gave birth. It's a young lady, came from inside the room. It's a young lady, Yubuchuan felt slightly disappointed, after all, he hoped to have a son to inherit the Huashan gate. But on second thought, it doesn't matter, after all, he and his wife are still young and there will be opportunities in the future. Just why haven't they come out yet? Did something happen inside the house? Yubuchuan's heart suddenly rose again. After a while, 
Just as Yubuchuan was getting more and more anxious and wanted to forcefully break in, the sound of, wow. Wow, came from inside the house. The newborn baby girl in front of him burst into tears in shock, and the cries of the two babies kept rising one after another, competing to shine. Congratulations to Master Yu, congratulations to Lady Yu, they are a pair of dragon and phoenix twins. After a while, the midwife pushed open the door, holding two swaddling clothes, and congratulated Yubuchuan. Yubuchuan hurriedly took the two babies lying in swaddling clothes, thanked the midwife, and then strode into the room. He looked at his wife, who was pale and drowsy on the bed, but couldn't conceal her joy. He carried the two children to the bed and whispered, Junior sister, thank you so much. Ning Zhongzi looked at the two children lovingly and said, Senior brother, why bother saying these things to you and me over the years? Upon hearing this, Yubuchuan remembered how he had been walking on thin ice these years, struggling to maintain his sect, as well as the brutal battle between qi and sword in the past and how he narrowly survived. He couldn't help but feel sad and said, Junior sister. Ning Zhongzi looked at it and knew that Yubuchuan was worried about the sect. He remembered some unpleasant memories and quickly changed the topic, saying, Senior brother, let's give the two children a name first. Yubuchuan and his wife knew each other well and knew that she didn't want to indulge too much in the past. After hearing this, he thought for a while and said, Let's call the girl Ling Shan, the agile Ling Shan and the coral Shan Shan. I hope she can be kind and beautiful, let's call the boy Fang Xing, the upright Fang Xing, the prosperous Xing Xing. I hope he can be upright and prosper in Huashan. Upon hearing this, Ning Zhongzi looked at the two babies and smiled, saying, Yu Lingshan and Yu Fangxing, good names. Senior brother is indeed a great talent. After saying that, he and Yu Buchuan exchanged a smile, and their hearts were in harmony, everything was in silence. Fang Xing woke up from sleep, but his eyelids couldn't open. He felt that the surrounding environment had changed significantly and there was no familiar smell of disinfectant. He thought to himself that he had been transferred to another hospital, and the doctor didn't notify him. He quickly shouted, Nurse, nurse. But when it came to his ears, there was a cry of, Wow. Wow, and he was surprised. Whose voice is this, isn't it mine? Have I already reincarnated? But how can I still remember my past life? I can't help but think of my parents in my past life. Although I am suffering from a terminal illness, my parents should have been mentally prepared for my departure. However, if I suddenly die, I estimate that the two elders will also be very sad. I couldn't help but burst into tears. As she was wailing, Fang Xing vaguely heard a woman's voice asking a man to name her. She left a little bit of heart to hear the man's name. She thought. Yu Fang Xing, only one more word than the previous life, which is also good. It's a memory of the previous life. That should be my sister, Yu Ling Shan. Wait, Yu Ling Shan, why is this name so familiar? Yu Ling Shan, Yu Ling Shan. The child couldn't bear to think. Before he remembered it, his brain felt dizzy and he fell asleep. Time flies, spring passes and autumn arrives. In the blink of an eye, three years have passed. Yu Fangxing had long understood his situation. He was in the world of Xiaoao Jianghu, and now he is the son of Yu Buchuan, the leader of the Huashan sect, and his wife Ning Zhongzi. As a young person who grew up in the atmosphere of the movie Shaolin Temple, after the reform and opening up, almost everyone has a martial arts dream, and there are few who have not seen Jin Yong's martial arts. Even those who have not read novels have mostly watched TV dramas, and Yu Fangxing has naturally watched them. Although he only briefly watched them in his past life and did not have any special research on martial arts, he still remembers the main characters and plot of the famous, Laughing in the Jianghu. Yu Buchuan, Ling Hu Chong, Lin Pingji, Yu Ling Shan, the Fu Wei Escort Agency extermination case, Lu Zhengfeng washing his hands with a golden basin, and the Songs Han Five Mountains Alliance. As for the specific details, it's hard to remember where Hu Chong ate and fought, and when Lu Zhengfeng washed his hands with a golden basin. 
But it's okay, after all, his arrival is already a variable, and it's hard to say whether those plots will happen again in the future. In the past three years, Yu Fangxing has not been idle either. Although others have not yet practiced literature and martial arts at a young age, he often does some simple exercises, after all, the baby survival rate was not high in ancient times. Moreover, he combined some parenting classics and brain development methods he had seen in his past life, focusing on exercising his brain. It is unclear whether this is due to the abundant vitality and good environment of the world. His brain development has achieved certain achievements, and now it is almost unforgettable. Even long and difficult to pronounce words can be quickly memorized after reading them several times. However, as a child now, he has limited exposure to things and a simple mind. It is unlikely that he will continue to behave like this when he grows up, so he cannot do it accurately. But Yu Fangxing estimated that even if he couldn't compare to Ling Hu Chong in this aspect, he wouldn't be much worse. In the original book, Ling Hu Chong could recite a difficult and obscure article about Duga Jujian after listening to it two or three times, and his memory should be able to maintain this level even if it declines as he grows up and even stronger, and now his thinking is agile, far superior to his previous life. According to this world, he has a high level of intelligence. Coupled with the scientific thinking style cultivated by the previous life systematic education, if his mind is not as good as Ling Hu Chong, then he is truly ashamed. However, as the saying goes, wood is beautiful in the forest, and the wind will destroy it. Yu Fangxing is well aware of the principle of concealing oneself, so he did not particularly express it. Whenever Yu Ling Shan can walk, he can walk, and whenever Yu Ling Shan can speak, he can speak. He learned from Yu Ling Shan in everything, and overall, it gives people a feeling of silence, not as lively as children of the same age group. But Yu Bu Chuan and his wife have no parenting experience, they just think that he has such a natural nature and an introverted personality, and they are not different from him. Who knows that Yu Fangxing's young body hides a mature heart? In recent years, Yu Bu Chuan and his wife have been busy taking care of their children. No one from the Huashan sect has been wandering in the martial arts world, almost like sealing the mountain. In the minds of the people in the martial arts world, their prestige has gradually declined. It is only through hundreds of years of fame that they have managed to maintain their position as a major sect in the martial arts world. If it weren't for some people's concerns about the hidden older generation of experts in the Huashan sect, perhaps even the Huashan gate could not be preserved. A few days ago, Yu Buchuan felt this situation and decided to walk down the mountain to revive the reputation of the gentleman sword. At the same time, he also hoped to find several good disciples at the foot of the mountain to shine on the lintel of Mount Hua. It has been several months since he left the mountain, and there are only Ning Zhongzi, Yu Ling Shan, Yu Fangxing, and a few servants left on the mountain. Early that morning, Yu Fang woke up early and secretly climbed onto the Chaoyang Tower to watch the famous sunrise. After a while, the sun climbed up and saw the clouds breaking through the sky, sending dawn in the east. A ray of dawn changed from gray to light yellow, and then from light yellow to orange red. Then, the entire east appeared colorful clouds, either in blocks, or in stripes, or wrinkled layers, shining red and purple, constantly changing, and unable to catch the eye. Immediately after, the entire sky gradually brightened, especially the ever dot changing colorful clouds in the east. The speed was amazing, sometimes like a wild horse galloping, sometimes like a unique and wild dance of a golden dragon, sometimes like a group of phoenixes flying, sometimes like a peacock opening its screen. The colorful glow of half the sky blends with the vast sea of clouds on the horizon, instantly dying out golden and magnificent brocades. Some fly away, some fold into pieces, and some embellish them into flowers, their beauty is difficult to describe with pen and ink. In short, the clouds and mist complement each other, the colors are incredibly vibrant, and the mountain mist shimmers with precious energy. The nature's creation is truly amazing. And Yu Fangxing was also dressed in a morning glow, as if painted with a layer of brilliant, indescribable color brilliance. 
Yu Fangxing was mesmerized as he watched the sunrise rise higher and higher from afar. He also felt a realization in his heart. A person's life is like sunrise and sunset, with birth and death, it is a cycle. His past life has already passed, and this life has just begun. Instead of reminiscing about the past, it is better to welcome the future and create new peaks. Thinking about the past three years, although I have been well behaved and have not let my parents worry too much, and my behavior is no different from other children, I have not been particularly close to my parents. Moreover, I often think of my past life, and even unconsciously have prejudice against my father due to the portrayal of his father Yubuchuan as a hypocrite in his novels. Now that I think about it, it shouldn't be true, let alone whether my father is a hypocrite. How can a person even conceal their wife, children, and apprentices for decades without revealing any flaws? How can a person who is a child resent their parents, listen to others, or rely on things that have not happened? Even if parents are wrong, they should be reminded and guided in the right direction. Thinking about the love and care that Yubuchuan and Ning Zhongzi had for themselves, I truly shouldn't have been a child in vain. Let's treat our past life as a dream and let it go with the wind. When Yu Fangxing thought of this, his mind suddenly became clear. Looking at the clouds and sunshine in the sky, he felt even more beautiful than before. Suddenly, his heart came to life, and he regained a little youthful energy. Recalling the heroic spirit of the protagonist in his previous life's novels, who once again lived in the world of martial arts, Yu Fangxing wished he could immediately go to the martial arts world to uphold justice and experience the so dot called heroic spirit of the martial arts world. However, he was still young and had to give up, but he was determined to practice martial arts well in the future. Not only could he excel in the martial arts world, but he also wanted to help his parents share the burden and revitalize Mount Hua. From then on, Yu Fangxing was able to integrate into this world and had no psychological barriers. Brother, brother, why are you standing so high? I saw my dad come back. Just as Yu Fangxing's thoughts were swirling, Yu Lingshan's crisp shout came from below. His older sister is as lively and lovely as in previous books. Upon hearing Yu Lingshan's voice, Yu Fangxing suddenly woke up. Looking up, he saw that the sun had already risen high. It turned out that one or two hours had passed unconsciously, and noon was about to come. He quickly shouted, Sister, sister, I'm here, I'll go down right now. Yu Fangxing has just let go of his psychological barriers, but now he is somewhat eager to see his parents, and he has indeed not seen Yu Buchuan for several months. So I hurriedly got off Chaoyang Terrace and flew down with Yu Lingshan. At the Xingqi Hall, Yu Fangxing saw his father and mother talking, and next to him was an eleven or twelve year old boy who was ragged, with messy hair. He was thin and thin, panting heavily, and his face turned red. His expression was also somewhat tired, indicating that he had gone through some hardships when climbing the mountain. At this moment, Ning Zhongzi walked up quickly. Yu Fangxing looked at him and quickly rushed towards Yu Buchuan, muttering, Daddy, how did you come back? Yu Buchuan turned his head and saw his son's affectionate expression, so he casually embraced him with one hand and embraced Yu Lingshan behind him with the other. He had not seen his child for several months, thinking only of his parents as a child, without considering anything else. When he turned around, he saw his wife's face with a hint of anger on it, for some unknown reason. He knew that his wife was always generous and rarely got angry, so he couldn't help but ask, Junior sister, did Shana Shinger not cause any trouble? Upon hearing this, Lady Yu suddenly became furious and said angrily, Why didn't you cause any trouble? Shana has always been mischievous, and you know it. Xinger doesn't even know what's going on today. She couldn't even find breakfast, and I don't know where she went. Yu Lingshan hurriedly said, My younger brother went to Kao Yangtai today, I didn't cause any trouble. Upon hearing this, Yu Buchuan felt a bit angry. However, as soon as he returned today, he saw his son so friendly and in a good mood. He didn't get angry and asked, what did you do at Chaoyang Tower? It's not safe to go to such a high place, so don't go in the future. 
you can go when you're older. Yu Fangxing had just heard his mother's words and felt a bit uneasy. However, upon hearing his father's words, he calmed down and thought to himself that his father and mother had a reverse temperament today. Usually, Yu Buqiuan scolded Ning Zhongzi for maintaining it, and he replied, I went to Chaoyang Tower to watch the sunrise. After speaking, his mother still had an angry expression on her face. She quickly changed the topic and pointed to the 11 or 12 year old boy, asking, Dad, who is this big brother? Is he the new senior brother? She thought to herself, isn't this really Ling Hu Chong? Upon hearing this, Lady Yu no longer pursued the matter and glared fiercely at Yu Fangxing, saying, let's talk about your matter later. Senior brother, whose child is this from? Isn't it your newly recruited disciple? As soon as the boy heard, whose child is this, tears welled up in his eyes. However, despite his young age, he had a strong sense of pride in his heart, unwilling to wipe his tears in front of others. He just looked up at Yu Buqiuan. Yu Fangxing saw it in his eyes, and combined with the temperament of Ling Hu Chong in the original book, he became more and more certain that he was Ling Hu Chong. Yu Buqiuan was very satisfied with his newly recruited disciple, but he was about to become a master. As the saying goes, one day is a teacher, one lifetime is a father, and, strict father and kind mother. At this time, he did not have the experience of being an apprentice, but just like a father, he felt the need to display his authority and establish his own credibility. Therefore, he did not comfort Ling Hu Chong. He said to Ning Zhong, junior sister, this is my newly recruited disciple at the foot of the mountain. Unfortunately, his parents have both died, and I saw that he was lonely and had good qualifications. So I brought him up to the mountain and happened to be a companion for Shaner and Shinger. His surname is Linghu. I have a unique name of Chong, and I am eleven years old. Please take him to clean up first. Three days later, it will be an auspicious day in the Chinese zodiac. I will officially offer my respects to the ancestors of the Huashan sect and accept him as an beginner upon hearing this, Lady Yu immediately stirred up a heart of pity. She picked up Ling Hu Chang's small hand, took out a handkerchief to wipe away the tears from the corners of his eyes, and softly said, You're also a poor child. Let's call you Chonger. From now on, being here will be like being at home. Senior brother, I'll go over first. You just came back, take a good rest, and accompany Shaner and Shinger. Turning his head to Yu Lingshan and Yu Fangxing, he said, Shaner and Shinger, please accompany your father first, and I will give your big brother a grooming. He then pulled Ling Hu Chong into the back hall. Chapter 2 Apprenticeship and Art You are listening at NovelFull.audio Upon hearing this, Yu Fangxing pondered inwardly. Indeed, it was Ling Hu Chong, truly worthy of being the protagonist of the original book. Although he had undergone great changes and appeared somewhat destitute, his eyes were agile and his arrogance was faint. He was so extraordinary at a young age, and he must become a great weapon in the future. No wonder he was accepted as a senior disciple by his father. Although his temperament is not yet calm enough, as long as the professor is proficient and honed a little, he can definitely emerge from the abyss like a hidden dragon. Thinking in his heart, but his mouth was not idle. Now, the father and son, father and daughter, chatted for a while, enjoying themselves harmoniously. In the blink of an eye, it had been three days. In these days, Yu Fangxing, Yu Lingshan, and Ling Hu Chong had become very close. After all, they were all children, and it was at a playful age. Ling Hu Chong came from the foot of the mountain, and many things were new to Yu Fangxing and Yu Lingshan. Yu Lingshan was lively and lovely, but Yu Fangxing was a person of two worlds, with active thinking and just regained some childlike nature. However, the three children played together. If it weren't for the concern of Yu Buqiuan on the mountain, it is estimated that it will cause chaos throughout Huashan. Early that morning, Yu Buqiuan and Ning Zhongzi got up early and arranged for several old servants to arrange apprenticeship matters. After finishing their meal early, they led the three little ones into the back hall. 
As soon as Yu Fangxing entered, he saw a plaque between the beams with the four characters, Use Qi to control the sword, written on it. The palm was decorated with solemnity, and there was a long sword hanging on both walls, with a dark scabbard and outdated tassels. It was expected that it was the sword of the previous generations of the Huashan sect's masters, I couldn't help but ponder. The Huashan sect is truly a martial arts sect that has been passed down for hundreds of years. Among the predecessors, I don't know how many heroes have been renowned in the martial arts world for hundreds of years. I don't know how many people have died under the long sword of these predecessors. Although they have undergone great changes and some decline in recent years, it is still an opportunity to reform and rejuvenate. As long as they adapt to the situation, they may become even more brilliant. Looking in the middle, there is an incense table with the spiritual tablets of the ancestors of the Huashan sect, densely packed, and candles are lit next to it. Yu Fangxing took a closer look and saw that the top one was the plaque of Guangming Zi Hao Datong. He searched carefully, but did not see the plaque of Xin Yu Tong. He wondered if it was not placed or if he had not found it, thinking to myself. The Huashan sect indeed has a profound foundation, inheriting some Chuanjin martial arts and continuously improving them for hundreds of years. The martial arts have already formed a complete system, cultivating countless talents. The hidden forces in the martial arts world are also unknown, and it is unknown whether there are any other seniors who have hidden themselves in Huashan or the martial arts world besides Qingyang. No wonder there are only a few remaining members of the Huashan sect in recent years, and no one dares to attack the mountain. It seems that people in the martial arts world cannot touch them, clear and profound, even the demon cult that was once at its peak in the sun has lost ten elders in Mount Hua. At this moment, Yu Buchuan led Ling Hu Chong forward and respectfully knelt down in front of the incense table, kowtowing his head four times, prayer. Disciple Yu Buchuan, the thirteenth generation leader of the Huashan sect, thanks to the care of his ancestors, has been appointed as the leader of the Huashan sect. Today, he opens the mountain to recruit disciples and includes Ling Hu Chong as the fourteenth generation eldest disciple of the Huashan sect. May his ancestors bless him with the spirit of heaven, instruct him to study hard, keep himself clean, abide by the rules of our sect, broaden the lintel of our Huashan sect, and revitalize the reputation of our Huashan sect. Ling Hu Chong listened to his master's words and quickly knelt down respectfully. Yu Bu Chuan stood up and said solemnly, Ling Hu Chong, when you enter the sect of our Huashan sect today, you must abide by the rules of the sect. If you violate them, you will be punished according to the severity of the situation. Those who commit heinous crimes will be executed and not pardoned. Our sect has been rooted in the martial arts world for hundreds of years, and although there are other sects competing for excellence in martial arts, the temporary strength and defeat are insignificant. What really matters is that everyone in our sect values the reputation of the sect. You must remember this section well. Ling Hu Chong said, Yes, I sincerely listen to my master's teachings. Yu Bu Chuan said, Ling Hu Chong, I will teach you the rules of our sect today. Please listen carefully. Ling Hu Chong said, Yes, master, please remember. Yu Bu Chuan said, The first commandment of our sect is to bully our teachers and destroy our ancestors, and to disrespect our elders. The second commandment is to bully the weak and harm innocent people. The third commandment is to commit adultery, lust, and flirt with women. The fourth commandment is to be jealous and self-destructive among our fellow disciples. The fifth commandment is to forget righteousness and steal property. The sixth commandment is to be arrogant and offend our fellow disciples. The seventh commandment is to engage in promiscuity with bandits and collude with demons. These are the seven commandments of Huashan which our disciples must abide by as one. Ling Hu Chong said, Yes, I will remember my master's teachings. The first precept of our sect is to bully our teachers and destroy our ancestors, and not respect our elders. The second precept is to bully the weak and harm the innocent. The third precept is to commit adultery, lust, and flirt with women. The fourth precept is to be jealous and kill each other among our fellow disciples. 
The fifth precept is to forget one's interests and steal property. The sixth precept is to be arrogant and offend our fellow disciples. The seventh precept is to promiscuity with bandits and collude with demons. However, after listening to the Huashan seven precepts once, I memorized them, he truly deserves to be the fourteenth generation disciple of Mount Hua, with exceptional talent. Yu Buchuan was very satisfied with this and smiled, saying, All right, that's all. Our sect doesn't have many rules and regulations like other sections. You just need to follow these seven precepts well, always remember to prioritize benevolence and righteousness, and be a righteous person. Master and mother will be very happy. Come, come and pay your respects to your master and mother. Ling Hu Chong said, Yes, master. Pay respects to master and then kowtow to Ning Zhongzi. Yu Bu Chuan said, Chongr, from today on, you will be the fourteenth generation disciple of our Huashan sect. You must work hard to learn Qigong and martial arts, and broaden our Huashan sect. Tomorrow, I will teach you the basic martial arts of our sect. Yu Lingshan stood next to Ning's Hongs, feeling a bit impatient. At this moment, when he heard that there was Kung Fu to learn, he shouted, I also want to learn, I also want to learn. Yu Bu Chuan looked at Yu Fangxing next to him and saw that he also had a longing expression on his face, feeling very pleased. He then looked at Ling Hu Chong and thought to himself, in the future, I will rely on these children for the glory of the Huashan sect's main gate lintel. Sui Dao said, You two are still young and have weak bones. Let's learn some basic martial arts with your senior brother first, and focus on reading and practicing calligraphy in other times. Chong'er, you also need to learn some writing skills and qi cultivation skills to avoid being laughed at when wandering the rivers and lakes, saying that I, Yu Bu Chuan, do not understand the words of sages. Yu Fangxing stood on the side, watching Ling Hu Chong perform his apprenticeship ceremony. He couldn't help but feel the profound etiquette of ancient people. Upon hearing the seven precepts of Mount Hua, he pondered that the sect of Mount Hua has been passed down for a long time and indeed has its principles. Looking at these seven precepts alone, although they are concise, they have profound implications and are in line with Confucian and Taoist culture. Upon hearing the last sentence, he chuckled inwardly, knowing that his father must have been proud of the reputation of being a gentleman's sword in the martial arts world, in order to teach Ling Hu Chong a lesson. Upon hearing this, the three children all respectfully agreed, and then happily ran away to play. Yu Bu Chuan and Ning Zhong looked at each other and couldn't help but smile bitterly, after all, they were still three children. Then he felt a pang of heartache again. The entrance ceremony of the fourteenth generation disciple of the Huashan sect was attended only by himself. Recalling the last time he took over as the leader, there were very few spectators, so he did not invite anyone to observe the ceremony again this time to avoid self-humiliation. It would be better to announce to the major sects in the martial arts world after Ling Hu Chong achieved success in a few years. The next day, Yu Bu Chuan gathered the three young masters early and arrived at the Huashan martial arts practice ground. He saw a plethora of swords and guns, complete with equipment, but slightly worn out. The three young masters were all eager to try this, but they heard Yu Bu Chuan say, Our martial arts prioritize practicing qi. Once qi gong is completed, swordsmanship and boxing can be easily mastered, and flying flowers and picking leaves can harm people. Before practicing martial arts, you must first relax your muscles and bones to avoid hurting yourself if you don't practice properly. Later, I will teach you how to stand firm, strengthen your foundation, cultivate your vitality. This is the first step in our martial arts, and it is the same for all schools and schools. The specific methods are similar. My Huashan sect's martial arts are particularly rooted. If the foundation is not established, everything will be empty. You should take good care of it as he spoke, he made a few postures. Yu Fangxing watched for a while and knew that it was a warm dot up technique to avoid accidentally moving and injuring joints, muscles, and bones. It seemed to have similarities with some modern warm dot up exercises, with the same effect, so he followed suit. 
Then Yubuchuan taught them how to stab horses, teach them mnemonics and breathing techniques, but these were secret teachings from various schools. Like some martial arts techniques, they were never recorded in writing to avoid being stolen by outsiders. But once a sect is changed, it is also easy to cause the loss of martial arts. Many sects in the martial arts world are like this. Although the martial arts and moves have been passed down, later generations always have limited progress and cannot reach the level of their predecessors, which is due to the lack of many key points in practice. San Shao acted according to his words, but there were some shortcomings. Yu Buchuan pointed them out one by one. Yu Lingshan and Yu Fangxing's siblings only pricked for less than a quarter of an hour, and Ling Huchong had a straight meal. San Shao was tired and had lower back pain, leg pain, dizziness, and dizziness. Seeing this, Yu Buchuan quickly gave San Shao massage to promote blood circulation. San Shao felt warm all over, and suddenly felt energetic again. Yu Fangxing thought to himself. Perhaps this is the purple cloud divine art. Upon closer inspection of Yu Buchuan's face, there was no abnormality. Knowing it was not the case, he felt a bit disappointed. After all, the purple cloud divine art is well dot known in the martial arts world, and its healing effect is still remarkable. It is unknown how powerful it is. This was actually Yu Fangxing's mistake. Although the healing effect of the purple cloud divine skill is amazing, it also consumes a lot of internal energy. Yu Buchuan is not easily able to use it, but to give the three little tweenet to promote blood circulation, he only needs to slightly stimulate the qi and blood acupoints with the purple cloud true qi. Why use the purple cloud divine skill? After a while, Sen Shao recovered and only heard Yu Buchuan say, after you have breakfast, take a break. In the morning, I will teach you how to read and write, and in the afternoon, Chong'er will continue to practice. Shan'er and Xing'er are still young, so don't practice anymore to avoid hurting your muscles and bones. San Shao follows his words, reading and practicing calligraphy in the morning, practicing martial arts in Linghu Chong in the afternoon. Yu Lingshan and Yu Fangxing either play on the mountain or watch Linghu Chong practice, and sometimes intentionally lure Linghu Chong to play nearby. Yu Buchuan also does not stop them, in order to exercise Linghu Chong's character. After a few days, it was like this every day, and the three little ones couldn't bear it anymore. Yu Lingshan couldn't help but cry and say to Yu Buchuan, It's like this every day, it's not fun. I won't practice anymore. Upon hearing this, Yu Buchuan angrily said, The key to martial arts lies in perseverance. There's no such thing as fun. It's not like you say you can practice or not practice. Yu Lingshan had never seen her father so angry before, and she was so frightened that she burst into tears. Ning Zhongzi heard crying and hurriedly ran out of the room, holding Yu Lingshan in his arms and comforting him. He knew that his husband was constantly thinking about expanding the family and had never taught his disciples before, which made him a bit impatient. His homework was a bit heavy, and he said, Senior brother, is Shaner still young after all? She's also from a girl's family, let her practice with me in the future. Yu Buchuan felt a little helpless upon hearing this. He knew that his wife cared for his daughter, and he was also reluctant to let her suffer so much. However, the martial arts world was dangerous, and the situation of the Huashan sect was precarious. Without putting in the effort to practice, how could he establish a foothold in the martial arts world? However, his wife's words were not bad either. After all, there are differences between men and women. Although the three of them are not too young now, as they get older, practicing martial arts together will be more inconvenient. It's better to separate now, so she said, it's better, but junior sister, don't slack off. Let Shana Shinger try it out after a while. Ning Zhongzi smiled and said, that's a good relationship, senior brother. Although my martial arts are not as good as yours, teaching my disciple may not be as good as yours. Yu Buchuan also smiled and said, let's take a look at who the famous Ning Vexia, and Gentleman Sword, in the martial arts world teach their disciples stronger martial arts skills. 
Yu Buchuan knew that his wife was arrogant and even after getting married, he still liked martial arts colleagues to call her Ning Vexia and didn't like to call her Lady Yu. It should be noted that the three words Ning Vexia were a complement to her own abilities and actions, Lady Yu, the three characters inevitably have the suspicion of being associated with a famous husband. However, he and his wife have always treated each other with great respect, so they didn't take it seriously. Today, they made a joke out of it because they were afraid that their wife would slack off and they wouldn't be willing to teach their daughter. Ning Zhongzi knew her husband's intentions and said, Senior brother, please rest assured. I'm afraid Ho Xing'er won't be as good as Shan'er when the time comes. She then hugged Yu Lingshan and went. Yu Fangxing has been training horses every day these days. Although he knows that his foundation is important, he is still young and weak, and he has some impatience. When he heard Yu Buchuan's words, he knew that his heart cannot be changed, so he had to settle down and practice horse training every day. Ling Hu Chong has always respected his master and dared not disobey him. He does much more homework every day than Yu Ling Shan and Yu Fangxing, but he never complains. However, whenever he has time, he still plays and frolics together. After half a year like this. Chapter 3 First Descent from the Mountain, 1 You are listening at NovelFull.audio In the past six months, Yu Fangxing has made great progress. Now he can hold his horse for fifteen minutes, and any longer he can hold it will exceed his ability to bear it. After all, he is not yet four years old and his body is weak. It is already not easy to achieve this step. Ling Hu Chong is relatively old and it is a good time to practice martial arts. He has made remarkable progress, and Zama can already stab for half an hour. At the same time, he has also started to learn some basic martial arts. As for Yu Ling Shan, she could only hold on to about one cup of tea. Although Ning Zhong was also quite strict with her, she was still young and lacked understanding. Many aspects were only partially understood, and the competition between the two ended with Yu Fangxing's complete victory. During this period, Yu Fangxing had already started to study and practice calligraphy. He not only memorized the commonly used characters, but also began to memorize classics. Not only did he mention the three-character classic and the thousand-character classic, but he also had the four books and five classics at his fingertips. Ji Jiao Ningzhong was overjoyed that for a period of time, he wanted to let him learn literature. Yu Buchuan was also proud and had already started explaining the meanings of the classics. However, Yu Fangxing did not aspire to this. He is now just making good use of his innate advantage of strong memory when he was a child to memorize them, so as not to have to worry about memorizing them again in the future. Most ancient texts are not long, and it is not difficult to memorize them after finding a way. Even Ling Hu Chong cannot compare to this. Although he is intelligent and has a good memory, he does not love reading and has only just learned common words until now. Yu Buchuan sighed repeatedly about this, but after all, as a person in the martial arts world, martial arts are the most important, and he did not demand it. Yu Fangxing was born in the world of martial arts and had a stronger interest in martial arts. Although he worked hard to learn ancient texts, he was just bored at a young age. After all, due to his limited age, he could not practice martial arts for a long time, and there were not many people on the mountain. He could only find some fun from books. Although Mount Hua experienced great changes, it was not invaded by external enemies. The martial arts classics were well preserved, and Yu Fangxing often visited Yu Buchuan's study. Although important martial arts classics could not be seen, some of the experienced letters of Mount Hua's ancestors could be seen. In the past six months, he has tried to integrate Zama's breathing technique into daily life based on his thoughts from novels he read in his past life and some martial arts experience in his present life. It is said that this can make people breathe long, but whether it is true or not is unknown. However, in the past six months, when he walks, he no longer has the habit of children falling easily as before. He runs and plays much farther than before, and no longer gasps for breath when he stops. 
he speculated that this was mainly due to the gradual strengthening of his body and stabilization of his lower body after six months of hard work, but he also believed that there were some breathing techniques that played a role. Now that he walks, his breathing is rhythmic and he doesn't lose his pace. Not to mention that this breathing technique does not require much effort, the role of cultivating a sense of rhythm alone has made you function reluctant to give up. Moreover, over time, this method is extremely effective for self.cultivation and self.cultivation. He can maintain his rhythm at any time, handle things calmly, and not lose his composure in the event of major events. This is one of the essential qualities for walking in the martial arts world, and ordinary people need to have at least decades of experience in the martial arts world to achieve it. Yu Fangxing has also reflected on his past life to cultivate this point from now on. He had made some mistakes in his past life due to his impatience, causing some losses. In this world, it is even more important to strive to avoid this. It should be noted that this is in the world of martial arts, and once you make a mistake in the martial arts world, you may lose your life. For the past six months, he has been thinking day and night, constantly reminding himself that he has achieved some success so far. He no longer needs to deliberately maintain his normal walking habits. His breathing is natural, his steps are steady, and his intervals are almost the same. He has also integrated the method of breathing into his previous life study of the Yijin Jing. This Yijin Jing is not the famous Shaolin internal skill treasure book in the martial arts world today, but rather the 12 forms of national fitness Qigong that he learned after falling ill in his previous life. It is unknown whether there is any similarity with the Shaolin Yi Jin Jing in the martial arts world today, but it must be different. He only practiced gymnastics during his illness in his past life, and only learned movements without deliberately studying mnemonics or mental techniques. The Shaolin Yi Jin Jing is the supreme internal skill scripture of Shaolin Temple. However, these twelve forms of the Yi Jin Jing are only methods for exercising muscles, promoting health, and strengthening the body. The two cannot be compared. To avoid misunderstandings, Yu Fangxing named them the Yi Jin Twelve Forms. This Yi Jin Twelve movements can be practiced throughout the body, which is very effective for the coordination and flexibility of the body. It is also the only thing he has learned in his previous life that is related to martial arts, so he persisted. Yu Buchuan saw some shadows of martial arts, but he only played around as a child and didn't care. Yu Fangxing worked hard to practice and incorporated Zama's breathing technique into it, and initially combined it with it. He just felt a sense of achievement recently, but it was quite impressive. However, in recent days, he has made little progress in both Zhama and practicing the Yijin 12 styles. He still feels uncomfortable even after practicing hard, as if he has reached a bottleneck but cannot find the reason. On this day, Yu Fangxing finished practicing martial arts, but there was still no progress. He felt a bit restless and lay on the grass, recalling a lesson taught by Yu Buchuan three months ago. That morning, Yu Fangxing and Ling Hu Chong finished their horse training. Yu Buchuan said to the two people, Chonger, Xinger, you have been training for three months and have made progress. I am very relieved. Chong'e has reached the threshold and is about to enter the field, but Xing'e relies solely on brute force. Although there has been some progress, it is not the right path. Although this training is a basic skill, it is also a skill with its own principles. I believe you also have some insights. Today, I will teach you the key to training. Speaking, Yu Buchuan stood with a horse step, but saw him standing naturally. His upper body was slightly undulating, as if moving with the wind, but his legs were as stable as rocks, without any sense of discomfort. His whole body was loose and flaccid, yet he seemed to be able to exert force at any time. His whole body seemed to contain a special rhythm, extremely harmonious. At that time, Yu Fangxing heard from his father that he had not yet started working in Jama, and was quite dissatisfied. After all, he had been working hard and making significant progress in the past three months. Although he was not as good as Ling Huchong, he also realized that it was only limited to his age. Unexpectedly, Yu Buchuan made such comments, 
but upon closer inspection, he seemed to have a vague understanding. At this moment, Yubuchuan said, Chonler and Shinger, the key points of this horse tying are the three words empty, comma, loose, and stable. The upper body should be empty, the whole body should be loose, and the feet should be stable. Naturally, it is effortless. It seems like being a teacher, it can be done for a few hours without feeling tired. Only when you reach this point can you achieve great success. I will teach you the next step of Kung Fu then. Upon hearing these words, Yu Fangxing was deeply shocked and never expected to be able to do so. He was deeply influenced by the muscle strength training methods of his past life, and believed that if he persisted, he would inevitably make breakthroughs. His martial arts were all achieved through hard practice. But I don't know that Chinese martial arts are vast and profound. While it requires hard work and practice, it also requires a certain level of understanding and thinking. The martial arts of the Huashan sect are inherited from the Chuanjin sect and also a branch of Taoism. Later, they absorbed some Confucian concepts, emphasizing the harmony between heaven and man, and letting nature take its course. If one does not understand the principles behind it, it is impossible to achieve great success, which is completely different from the modern exercise method of forcibly breaking through one's own limits. Yu Fangxing was deeply influenced by his past life, and his thinking had not yet reversed, making a mistake in his fixed mindset. Zama places too much emphasis on external appearance, only seeking accurate posture and persevering, but he does not understand the essence of Zama. It is no wonder Yubuchuan said that he has not yet started. Who knows that the way of martial arts is vast and profound, with, a tiny difference, a thousand miles lost. Modern exercise methods are mostly inherited from the West, and are very different from Chinese martial arts. How can they be mixed together? Since then, Yu Fangxing has forced himself to break free from the mindset of his past life and learn to think about problems using the methods of his present life. Now, he has gradually gained a deeper understanding of some of the meanings in the mnemonic formulas, and has even tried to integrate the breathing method into the twelve movements of Yijin. In the past three months, he has made remarkable progress, greatly surpassing Yu Lingshan. However, recently, he has always felt like there is a layer of separation, and he has not grasped the correct method of Zama. Yu Fangxing had been pondering for several days, when a sudden inspiration flashed in his mind. Jama, Jama, isn't it just a horse step? Thinking about the person who wants to ride a horse again, their body moves with the ups and downs of the horse, and their whole body is loose and limp. Isn't it very similar to the feeling my father gave me when he was riding a horse? No wonder I haven't been able to find the feeling of watching my father ride horses lately, but Ling Hu Chong can find it. It seems that I have never seen a real person ride a horse, and the closest one is the equestrian competition I watched on TV in my past life. But how can it be like real horse riding? Without seeing the actual object, there is always a sense of unreality. Ling Hu Chong was at the foot of the mountain, probably having seen someone ride a horse before, so he unconsciously used it as soon as he tied his horse. Thinking of this, Yu Fangxing jumped up and ran towards the martial arts arena, shouting, Daddy, Daddy, I want to go down the mountain, I want to go down the mountain. Yu Buchuan was teaching Hu Chong some basic boxing, footwork, and sword-holding techniques in the martial arts arena. When he heard Yu Fangxing's words, his face couldn't help but turn pale. Xinger, didn't your father say not to disturb your senior brother's practice? Besides, what are you going to do down the mountain? If there is anything, wait until your senior brother finishes his homework. Upon hearing this, Yu Fangxing realized that he had been feeling a bit complacent and had lost his usual composure, which had angered his father. He then watched Ling Hu Chong frown and say, I'm going to ride a horse down the mountain. Upon hearing this, Yu Buchuan felt a bit strange and asked, What are you doing riding a horse down the mountain? You're still young and can't ride a horse. Yu Fangxing said, When I take a horse stance, I always feel a bit uncertain. I want to go down the mountain and see how people ride horses. Upon hearing these words, Yu Buchuan thought for a moment in his mind and suddenly realized that it was his own negligence. 
He thought his son had seen him ride a horse, but he didn't expect his son to have never come down Mount Hua since he was born, so how could he see him? No wonder these days he always felt that Shinger's horse stance felt a bit wrong, but he couldn't explain it, and so did Shainer. I thought it was because they were not old enough and lacked intelligence, but now I think it's still because they lack knowledge. After all, they have been on the mountain all year round and have not seen many things. It seems that in the future, we should let them go down the mountain to gain more knowledge, so as not to even know some common things in the future. Xinger can think of this because their intelligence alone is quite extraordinary. He was very happy in his heart and said with warmth, it's already a bit late today. Tomorrow, your mother and I will take you down the mountain with Shaner to have a look. After speaking, he looked at Ling Hu Chong and was about to let him stay on the mountain. However, he saw Ling Hu Chong looking at him pitifully and couldn't bear it. Beijing had been practicing hard for the past six months, so he saw it and said to Ling Hu Chong, Chonger, you have been up the mountain for half a year and haven't come down again. Come with us down the mountain tomorrow and take a good look. Upon hearing these words, Yu Fangxing and Ling Hu Chong immediately felt a sense of joy in their hearts. Yu Fangxing has never been down Mount Hua since he was born, and now he can't figure out exactly what era he is in or what the situation is like at the foot of the mountain. He has long wanted to see for himself. Ling Hu Chong is naturally lively, and Yu Buchuan values his ability to concentrate on practicing for half a year. If he were to practice on his own, he would definitely not work so hard. At present, he only feels like he wants to wait until tomorrow, but now he still needs to practice well, so as not to miss this opportunity when his master sees him not focusing on his studies. Chapter 4 First Descent from the Mountain, 2 You are listening at NovelFull.audio The next morning, after having breakfast, the five people on the mountain packed their things and headed down the mountain. Huashan Mountain has a unique and dangerous terrain, and if one is not familiar with the route, it is very easy to encounter dangerous situations. Therefore, since the birth of Yu Fangxing and Yu Lingshan, they have never descended the mountain. This time Yu Buchuan held Yu Fangxing, while Ning Zhong held Yu Lingshan. As for Ling Huchong, he could only endure some more training. However, in the past six months, he has been practicing hard and eating much better than before. His body and bones have also begun to develop, and he is much stronger than before. Although he still needs support in some dangerous areas, he is much stronger than half a year ago. Even though he is panting at the foot of the mountain, he is still full of energy. It is unclear whether he is excited or has strong martial arts skills. However, it should be the former. After all, he has only been practicing martial arts for half a year and has not even practiced internal skills. Even if his qualifications are good, it is impossible for him to achieve great success in such a short period of time. Five people walked and stopped along the way, constantly stopping to enjoy the scenery of Mount Hua. They were leisurely and leisurely. When they arrived at the market at the foot of the mountain and saw that the sun was approaching noon, they searched for an inn in the market, had lunch, and booked two rooms. After all, it was not easy for five people to go down the mountain once, so they would stay for two or three days, while also learning about the situation in the martial arts world. After settling down, Yu Buchuan and Ning Zhong took a break and strolled around the city with the three of them. San Xiao felt extremely excited, and Yu Lingshan felt fresh when she saw everything. She occasionally asked for things, and Ling Hu rushed around to get things for her. Although Yu Fangxing had some knowledge about ancient times in his past life, and has been living in Huashan for a few years now, he has read many travelogues and miscellaneous notes from his time in the past six months. However, he has been on the mountain all year round and has not personally experienced life below. Today, when he saw it, he only felt that it was very different from what was shown in the film, without any deliberate affectation, fully demonstrating the natural nature of life. He also suddenly realized some parts of the book that he did not understand in his daily life. Upon careful observation and comparison with what was said in the book, I only felt a strong sense of emotion. Indeed, it is better to travel thousands of miles than to read thousands of books. 
The ancient sincerely did not deceive me, Yu Fangxing thought to himself. Just as he was thinking about it, suddenly a commotion came from ahead, and a person dressed in a military uniform rushed towards him on horseback. Pedestrians on the street quickly dodged on both sides. But seeing the military officer riding on the horse, his body fluctuated with the horse's vertical and horizontal jumps, and the whip in his hand occasionally made the sound of air twitching. Obviously, the person riding the horse has a good intention, but it is possible that they have indeed encountered some urgent matter, so they should ride the horse quickly. In the blink of an eye, one person and one horse were already speeding past, and the pedestrians on the street were chaotic and bustling. Counting carefully, they were not touched by a horse, most likely due to the crowding and falling of the crowd while avoiding, highlighting the rider's profound riding skills. After a while, the street was scattered with curses, but the market was about to end. Yu Fangxing stood by but was stunned. After all, he had never seen such profound equestrian skills and thrilling scenes in his past and present lives. His thoughts couldn't help but freeze. When he saw the hooves of the horse flying and the military service on the horse undulating up and down, the insights of Jama in the past six months rushed forward like a tide, one by one, and his body unconsciously made a Jama posture, which was much more natural than usual. At this moment, Yu Fangxing only felt that he was not riding a dull horse, but was galloping forward on a galloping horse, his body undulating up and down with the horse's vertical and horizontal jumps, his whole body full of vitality, and his mind was extremely clear. He felt that the surroundings were so clean and pure. Warm sunshine, thick earth, warm breeze. All presented before his eyes. He sometimes rode his horse to gallop with the wind, sometimes restrained his horse to enjoy the sunshine, and sometimes galloped his horse towards the horizon. Everything was so natural that he felt like a wild horse, galloping freely and freely on the vast and boundless grassland Yubuchuan stood on the side, seeing that the military service had already passed away. Turning his head, he saw Yu Fangxing's expression blank, thinking that he had been stunned by the thrilling scene. He thought to himself that he was a child who had never seen the world before, but did not know that the turbulent and bloody world in the martial arts world had gone. He made up his mind to train him more in this area in the future. In the blink of an eye, Yu Fangxing set out his horse steps, and his heart twitched. Did Xinger understand something? Isn't he just going down the mountain to see people ride horses? A closer look revealed that Yu Fangxing's upper body was slightly undulating and his whole body was loose, but his feet were still as stable as a rock, just like what he had taught that day, even in some aspects. After a while, Yu Fangxing straightened his body and smiled, as if he had encountered something wonderful. Upon seeing this, Yu Buchuan had no further doubts in his heart. He knew that his son had entered a rare state of enlightenment for ordinary people, and upon waking up, he would surely gain some insights. However, the longer this state lasted, the greater the harvest. During this period, he was most afraid of being disturbed. He quickly called his wife to guard this place, and if pedestrians passed by, he would lead to the side. Fortunately, now that the market had dispersed, another incident of galloping occurred, and the streets had become deserted. Otherwise, it would have been quite difficult. The pedestrians on the street saw it and although it felt a bit strange, they didn't ask much. After all, there were many strange things on the street, so it wasn't much fun to see. In this way, Yu Buchuan and the four of them stood guard for about two hours. During this time, they saw Yu Fangxing's expression change back and forth several times, and sometimes even reached out and made some strange movements in the air. Although it looked strange, it made people feel very natural. It wasn't until dusk that I saw Yu Fangxing's body tilt and fall down. Yu Buchuan was startled in his heart and quickly hugged him in his arms. Upon closer inspection, he realized that he had fallen asleep. After all, he was just a child and lacked energy. He was also exhausted after an afternoon. He couldn't help but smile bitterly at his wife, but breathed a sigh of relief. It wasn't until the next morning that Yu Fangxing woke up leisurely, feeling that his mind was unprecedentedly clear and his body was unprecedentedly relaxed. However, 
he didn't know what was going on, and vaguely felt like he had ridden a horse before, as if he had transformed into a wild horse. Thinking of this, he couldn't help but shake his head, driving this idea out of his mind. How could a person become a horse? Shinger, you're awake. Come and wash yourself up quickly. Just then, Ning Zhongzhou walked in. Upon hearing this, Yu Fangxing remembered that he seemed to have slept for a while, and he was amazed. Didn't I see people riding horses on the street? Why are you sleeping in the room now? And how has it turned into morning now? Have I slept all day already? What's going on? At this moment, Ning Zhongzhou said, Xinger, yesterday when you saw people riding horses, you had a great opportunity and entered a state of enlightenment. You stood on horseback for two hours straight, and your senior brother has never stood for such a long time before. Practicing him now cannot compare to you. Your father praises you for your deep fortune and excellent understanding. Upon hearing this, Yu Fangxing felt confused and confused. Is all his feelings true? Did you simulate it in your mind? I didn't expect that I was truly a peerless genius. I could easily enter a state of enlightenment by watching others ride horses, and my heart couldn't help but feel happy. However, Yu Fangxing was distracted by this point. This time, he entered the state of enlightenment, which was the result of his six months of contemplation and accumulation. Although he had a good understanding, he focused on the systematic thinking, but his spirituality was not very high. He was just slightly stronger than ordinary people, and he was still much different from Ling Huchong. In the original book, Ling Huchong learned the incomplete Five Mountain Sword School Sword Technique and the Supreme Sword Technique of Dugu Jiujian in just a few days. He learned the subtle, mysterious, and extremely dangerous internal skill of star absorbing technique without a teacher. Even when his internal strength was completely lost in battle, his sword technique could still break through continuously, resulting in a spiritual breakthrough. A flash of light blinded the eyes of fifteen first-class experts. This kind of spirituality is not something that Yu Fangxing can learn. Although he consciously developed his brain from a young age, thanks to the thinking style of adults and systematic learning in his past life, he was able to think more comprehensively and steadily. His memory and understanding can be said to be stronger than Ling Hu Chong, but it also limited his spirituality. The innate spirituality of a peerless genius is not something that can be achieved through postnatal training. Yu Fangxing's enlightenment this time not only made his Jama Kung Fu more successful, but his biggest gain was that his soul was naturally baptized, and his thoughts became more accessible. Although he had already made up his mind to truly integrate into this world when he watched the sunrise at Chaoyang Terrace last time, and the lesson three months ago made him decide to learn from the perspective of people in this world to think about problems, after all, his soul comes from modern times, and there are much more distractions than people at this time. He is also trapped in a young body, which greatly limits his performance and growth. Although he has not seen anything unusual yet, over time, it will inevitably lead to some psychological and physical incompatibility problems. This time, he entered a state of enlightenment and was baptized by nature, purifying his soul. Although those distractions were present, they no longer became a problem for him. Moreover, they allowed him to think about problems from different perspectives and perspectives, integrating useful knowledge from his past life into what he has learned in this life. Moreover, when he played with Ling Hu Chong and Yu Ling Shan, he did not deliberately appear childish, but naturally and freely. It can be said that only now can Yu Fangxing be said to have completely integrated into this world. In addition, there are other gains from this enlightenment that will be revealed one by one in the future. Of course, Yu Fangxing has not realized these yet. He is just happy that his Jama has finally succeeded, and at the same time, he has some new ideas about the twelve techniques of Ijin. However, after finally descending the mountain, it is still better to have fun now. He didn't even realize how he thought that way. It was impossible for him to have such thoughts before. Yu Fangxing, who had let go of his distractions, appeared more lively and natural to play with. In addition, he had rich experience and was always resourceful. Even Ling Hu Chong, a senior brother, 
often had to listen to his arrangements and became the leader among the three, which further highlighted his intelligence and cleverness. However, he did not forget to consolidate his gains from yesterday. He still woke up early in the morning every day to work hard, and Ling Hu Chong and Yu Ling Shan felt embarrassed to slack off. Mr. and Mrs. Yu Buchuan were very pleased to see this, but they also felt the change in their son. They felt that he was more lively and like a child. They sighed inwardly that they had not noticed that their son was too old and dull, unlike a child. It was only after going down the mountain that their child's nature was revealed. In this way, the five of them stayed at the foot of the mountain for four or five days and purchased some daily necessities before returning to Huashan with the reluctance of Ling Hu Chong and Yu Ling Shan. Chapter 5 Ejin Twelve Forms, 1. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Time flies, and in the blink of an eye, more than two years have passed. Ling Hu Chong has been climbing the mountain for three years, and Yu Fangxing is also six years old this year. In recent years, Ling Hu Chong has grown rapidly and now looks like a half-grown boy. In addition to continuing to stand on horseback and basic martial arts, he has also sensed internal breathing and started practicing internal skills such as activating meridians. At the same time, he has learned many basic martial arts such as footwork, body technique, fist technique, and sword technique from the Huashan sect. Ling Hu Chong is also worthy of being a carefully selected senior disciple of Yu Bu Chuan. Although his internal skills are not very strong and his boxing is extremely poor, his footwork, body method, and swordsmanship are extremely skilled, especially in the field of swordsmanship. He is very talented in cutting, stabbing, and wiping techniques, and can use his sword without shaking his hands or deviation. Recently, he also learned from Yubuchuan a sword technique called, Welcoming Guests with Pine Trees. Although this move is the starting move of the Huashan sword technique, it hides a few back moves, which is the key to connecting many basic sword techniques of the Huashan sect. Moreover, Ling Hu Chong is a beginner in sword techniques. I don't quite understand, so I am still working hard to practice until now. In fact, since a year ago, Ling Hu Chong had been able to learn the basic swordsmanship of the Huashan sect with his innate talent. However, when Yu Bu Chuan investigated his internal skill cultivation, he found that although his internal breathing had already been transformed into true qi, it was not enough to connect the meridians. It should be noted that Ling Hu Chong had been practicing internal skills for a year, and even an ordinary person with ordinary qualifications could meet the standard of connecting the meridians. Moreover, even with Ling Hu Chong's talent, it was normal to connect the meridians. Therefore, Yu Bu Chuan was furious on the spot and imprisoned Ling Hu Chong for seven days. You should know that the Huashan sect emphasizes the use of qi to control swords, with the most emphasis on internal skill cultivation. With only one-tenth of internal skill, other small techniques can be easily mastered. Therefore, Ling Hu Chong was ordered to diligently practice internal skill mental techniques, and almost did not allow him to practice even swordsmanship. Ning Zhongzi persuaded him from the side, and Yu Bu Chuan was afraid of delaying his swordsmanship talent before letting him go. However, the original plan to teach him the basic swordsmanship of the Huashan sect was delayed for a year, so Ling Hu Chong had to continue to lay the foundation. However, Ling Hu Chong's talent is not limited. Although he still has some impatience, Yu Fangxing doesn't see him working hard in his daily life. Instead, he often runs and plays with Yu Ling Shan. But after watching him for a few months, he finally has a second pulse. A while ago, Yu Buchuan checked his internal skill cultivation and found that his third pulse is about to be completed. With joy, he passed on his style of welcoming guests with pine trees, which excited Ling Hu Chong. Yu Fangxing also envied him and wished he had grown up earlier. In recent years, the martial arts world has been quite turbulent. There have been several major wars between the righteous and demonic sects, with both sides suffering heavy casualties. Since decades ago when the demon sect attacked the Huashan sect and accidentally lost the top ten elders, it disappeared from the martial arts world for a period of time. 
Over the years, it has been hiding on the black cliff and its strength has been restored. And under the leadership of the ambitious new sect leader Ren Wishing, he returned to the martial arts world, stirring up trouble and causing countless bloody storms. The current demonic cult is truly powerful. The powerful technique of allowing oneself to absorb stars is awe-inspiring, and people in the martial arts world will inevitably turn pale upon hearing it, with a faint tendency to become the top expert in the world, the top officials of the demonic cult, such as Dong Fang Sheng, the left envoy of the light, Xiang Wentian, the right envoy of the light, Jia Bu, the yellow-faced venerable of the Qing Long Hall, Sheng Wanyan, the Diao Xia of the White Tiger Hall, Tong Bai Xiong of the Wind End. Thunder Hall, and the new Ten Elders, are not inferior to the leaders of major sects, disciples are spread all over the country, and there are also various gangs such as the Five Poison Sect and the Tianhe Gang that rely on them as wings. The Yellow River Ancestor, Tong Bai Shuangqi, and other righteous and evil martial arts heroes are waving flags and shouting for them. There is indeed a trend of unifying the martial arts world and dominating the world, and their actions are becoming increasingly rampant and arrogant. Over the years, there have been countless bloody cases under the Black Blood God Needle, and countless famous figures have died under it. Even Shaolin and Wudong, the two holy sites, have had to join forces so that the righteous in the martial arts world can barely compete with them. Due to their old grudges with the demon cult decades ago, the Five Sacred Swords sect unfortunately suffered the brunt of this turmoil in the martial arts world, with countless disciples killed and injured. Last year, during the meeting of the five major sects in Songshan, a major battle broke out with the Bien Demon Cult, with no clear winner. At that time, Ren Wishing was arrogant and had only brought a few people with him, intending to destroy the Five Sacred Swords sect with his own strength. However, he suddenly stopped speaking out for some unknown reason when he was about to win a battle with Left Cold Zen. Later, he encountered the abbot of Shaolin Temple, Master Fang Zheng, who led his troops to aid him, so he had to retreat urgently. The Five Sacred Swords sect did not suffer much loss. Afterwards, the momentum of the Five Sacred Swords sect increased significantly. The leader of the alliance, Zhuo Lengshan, was praised by the martial arts world as one of the three righteous experts equivalent to Fang Zheng and Chengshu due to his lack of a clear winner with Ren Wuxing. The leaders of the Huashan sect, Yu Buqiuan, and Hengshan sect, M. Oda, were also ranked among the top ten righteous experts by the martial arts community. The combined strength of the five sects faintly surpassed that of Shaolin and Wudang. It was only because they were in an alliance of five sects and were separated from the five sacred mountains, and their communication was inconvenient, that they were subordinate to Shaolin and Wudang. However, the internal members of the Five Sacred Sword sect are well aware that their own strength cannot be compared to that of the demon cult. In the first battle of that day, the demon cult not only did not exert all its strength, but also inexplicably retreated. Their own draw was a stroke of luck, so they are all working hard to enhance their strength in preparation for the next invasion of the demon cult. It is said that the leader, Left Cold Zen, is also secluded and wants to create a technique to counter the star-absorbing technique. The members of the demon sect don't know why, but after the war, they suddenly converged, and something happened inside. Last year, Elder Wen, one of the top ten elders, was expelled from the demon sect, and was besieged and killed by experts from Song Mountain sect, Mount Taishan sect, and Hengshan sect. This year, another elder named Xiu, who was also listed as one of the top ten elders, died inexplicably in Gansu, other personnel changes are even more dazzling, and it is unclear how many legitimate people in the martial arts world have inquired about them. However, everyone also breathed a slight sigh of relief, after all, the power of the demonic cult was too great, and it was also a good thing for them to consume some on their own. Since Ling Hu Chong climbed the mountain, Yu Fangxing has been practicing martial arts with Yu Buqiuan for three years. Since two and a half years ago when he first came down the mountain to understand the true meaning of Mabu, he has been striving towards that level at that time. However, it was not until a year ago that he barely found the feeling of being a horse at that time, but he no longer felt the artistic conception of understanding nature at that time. 
It seems that this level is not something that can be achieved normally. Yu Fangxing is not demanding either, he just studies hard. Nowadays, he effortlessly steps up his horse, his breathing is natural, and his whole body is relaxed. He is much stronger than Ling Hu Chong, and Yu Ling Shan cannot compare with him. Yu Bu Chuan is also very satisfied with this. Seeing that his footwork is stable, he has also passed on some basic footwork learning and has achieved some success. However, due to his age, Yu Fangxing's main focus was still on reading and practicing calligraphy. In the past three years, he has mastered the four books and five classics, and has also read many Taoist classics. After all, the Huashan sect is inherited from the Chuanjin sect, and although it has been continuously improved by generations of ancestors for hundreds of years, it is still a branch of Taoism. The founder of Chuanjin, Wang Chongyang, advocates the unity of the three religions, and the Huashan school also emphasizes the integration of Confucianism and Taoism. The Shi sword is like Shi, and the essence of Taoism is embedded in it, Yen Wu sword is dignified and upright, showcasing the upright and majestic spirit of Confucianism, the purple cloud divine skill clearly states at the beginning that in the world of martial arts, practicing qi is the most important. Haran Zhengqi was originally bestowed by heaven. Therefore, in order to practice Huashan martial arts well, one must learn the classics of Confucianism and Taoism. Otherwise, one will only gain its form without understanding its meaning. Even if one reaches the level of their ancestors, it is difficult to achieve great martial arts. Yu Fangxing is well aware of this, so in recent years, he has taken advantage of his young age to practice martial arts and has ample time to study Confucian and Taoist classics as well as some medical divination miscellaneous studies. He has combined his previous life's learning with careful understanding, and has gained many insights and experiences. However, he reads for better martial arts practice, so he mostly selects some useful and meticulous studies on martial arts, while others only provide a brief understanding. He never let go of his martial arts skills. In addition to Zama's morning exercises, he also thoroughly integrates breathing techniques into his daily life. He no longer deliberately pursues training behaviors such as exhaling and inhaling, but instead uses a natural breathing mode to make it more suitable for daily life. If he is not careful in his daily life, it looks like breathing is no different from that of an ordinary person. Of course, if you observe carefully for a period of time, you will notice that his breath is not inferior to that of an internal skill master, and it also contains a special rhythm. Affected by this, Yu Fangxing's cultivation and self-cultivation skills were also greatly improved, and his demeanor was even admired by Yu Buchuan, which was not something that a six-year-old child could possess. Therefore, Yu Buchuan gradually did not regard him as an ordinary child, and he no longer deliberately avoided discussing sect affairs with Ningzhongs. Those Jianghu news were heard by Yu Fangxing during his daily conversations with Yu Buchuan and Ningzhongs, and many things were not even known to Ling Hu Chong, the eldest disciple. Since Yu Fangxing integrated the method of breathing into daily life and created the natural breathing method, he has specially created a set of coordinated breathing methods based on the movements of the E Gene 12 movements, practicing diligently in the morning and evening every day. I don't know if it's because of this reason, but in recent years, Yu Fangxing's body has become stronger and stronger, like an eight or nine year old child. It's estimated that he will catch up with Ling Hu Chang's body in two years when he first came while his sister Yu Lingshan is already half a head lower than him, often making Yu Lingshan feel frustrated, as if she is the younger sister. It is precisely in this way that Yu Bu Chuan saw that he often studied and did not worry about his son becoming a weak scholar in the future. Coupled with his usually calm and generous temperament, he actually believed that he was his own son and had a gentleman's sword style, which made him very proud of himself. On this day, Yu Fangxing practiced the twelve movements of Yi Jin, but for some reason, he still felt unsatisfied. Seeing that time was still early, he practiced again. This time, he couldn't control himself and practiced for five times. By the sixth time, as soon as his body moved, he felt a breath in his body moving with it, as if a hot current was about to come out. 
Yu Fangxing was startled and almost screamed in his heart. At this moment, he showed his ability to nourish his energy. Although he was not panicked, he still had the same feeling as before. He had just finished practicing a set of Yijin 12 moves, and he felt that the aura was getting stronger and stronger. When he reached the final form, Yu Fangxing unconsciously let out a loud shout. The sound was like thunder, which shook the mountains and echoed in waves. The heat flow in his body finally burst out, and it was about to run around in his body. Seeing this, Yu Fangxing quickly learned from Yu Buqiuan's usual routine. After completing the exercise, slowly press both hands onto the lower abdomen and waist, where the dantian is located. As expected, the heat flow also flows towards the dantian. Chapter 6 Ejin 12 Forms, 2 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Yu Fangxing appeared calm on the surface just now, but in fact, he was already greatly surprised in his heart. After all, no one knew that there was an unknown change in his body that would not continue to calm down. His ability to continue practicing those twelve moves was already the result of his years of calmness and energy cultivation, and of course, this was also the opportunity for Yu Fangxing. Yu Fangxing has been practicing martial arts for three years since he was three years old. Although he was young and only practiced for a while, he understood the true meaning of Jama at a very young age. A little practice every day is more rewarding than Linghu Chang's practice for an hour. In addition, although he did not learn the secret cultivation method of the twelve movements of Ijin in his previous life, those twelve movements are the essence of the ancient people's thousand hammer exercises for hundreds of years, which has its own essence. He also made slight adjustments to the twelve movements based on his previous understanding that they were in line with nature, making them more suitable for himself. Although the effect may not be comparable to the original version when practiced by others, it is extremely suitable for himself. Over time, Yu Fangxing's foundation can be said to be even thicker than Ling Huchong's. In addition, he was still young when practicing martial arts. Two and a half years ago, when he entered the state of enlightenment, he underwent a natural baptism, leaving behind the innate energy that had already dispersed in his physical body but had not completely dissipated. This innate aura is present in everyone's womb and gradually dissipates into the body as they age after birth, until it is completely dissipated. And some people have extraordinary talents, even at the age of seven or eight, they can still feel it. Such people are extremely talented in practicing internal skills, such as Wang Chongyang, Zhang Sanfeng, and others, and have become a generation of masters. Although Yu Fangxing was unaware of this, he did not deliberately try to retain this innate energy. In fact, he had no way to do so, after all, who would create a technique for a child to retain innate energy? Not to mention the difficulty, even if a child is not sensible, they may not be able to cultivate independently, but instead may go wrong and ruin themselves. But after the last natural baptism, the innate qi in his body stopped dissipating, and the natural breathing method and the twelve movements of Yijin that he created were also wonderful methods for cultivating and nourishing qi. In recent years, he has been diligently practicing and continuously consolidating the innate qi that was originally scattered in his body. Finally, today, it has completely converged into one, allowing him to cultivate true qi in one go. Although this true qi is acquired and no longer innate, it is actually condensed from innate qi. It has some innate properties and is extremely useful in healing and treating diseases. In the future, it will be easier for him to enter innate than others. This is a great opportunity for Yu Fangxing and a reward for his efforts in recent years. Yu Fangxing saw that this heat flow had calmed down and had already been incorporated into the Dantian. He couldn't help but ponder in his heart. Is this heat flow truly qi? Is this Yijin 12 forms really like what was said in a previous life to be Taoist guidance techniques? But I didn't learn the method of guidance, did I? How can one cultivate true qi? Yu Fangxing didn't think much about the Shaolin Yi Jin Jing. In recent years, he often went to Yu Buqiuan's study to read some of his predecessor's practice notes, which greatly increased his knowledge of martial arts. 
the Huashan sect has been passed down for a long time. Although it has undergone major changes and some martial arts secrets have been lost, it has also left behind many martial arts remnants. There are also many martial arts classics such as Cultivation Insights and Notes. Yu Fangxing often visits the sect to check, and Yu Buqiuan does not prohibit it. Over time, he combined his own experience with the theories expounded in some martial arts novels and online novels from his past life, and gradually gained his own understanding of martial arts. In terms of theoretical knowledge alone, he was much stronger than Ling Huchong, and in some aspects, Yu Buqiuan was not as good as him. After all, Yu Fangxing comes from modern times and has gone through more than a decade of systematic education. He can systematically summarize everything, and he can explain everything in a systematic way. Yu Fangxing now knows that some statements from his past life are not unfounded. The Shaolin Yi Jin Jing is a great Buddhist practice. If the Buddhist practice does not reach the level of no one or no self, it is impossible to achieve great success. Practicing it forcefully may be harmful. For hundreds of years, there have been very few successful practitioners in Shaolin Temple. Today, the abbot of Shaolin Temple, Fang Zheng, is one of them. Although people in the righteous path do not know his depth, they generally believe that it should be at least equivalent to Ren Wishing, and may even be stronger. However, it is unclear whether the internal skills of the Yi Jin Jing can resist the star-absorbing Dharma. Based on his own knowledge, Yu Fangxing believes that Chinese martial arts is closely related to Chinese culture, and that advanced martial arts must contain cultural connotations, just like the Huashan Yenguo sword and Shi sword. In the past century, there have been very few who have truly mastered the Huashan sect. Yu Fangxing is well aware that he has read many Confucian and Taoist classics in recent years, but he has hardly read Buddhist scriptures and has no chance of becoming a great monk. On the contrary, he has some insights into the essence of Confucianism and Taoism. In his previous life, he only learned the framework of the Twelve Forms of Ijin. Although some of the names in these Twelve Forms have a Buddhist flavor, he mainly practiced based on his own understanding, and even the breathing method was self-created, which is very different from the original. Therefore, he believes that even if he has internal skills, his current Twelve Forms of Ijin should be a Taoist guiding technique. Thinking of this, he couldn't help feeling a little uneasy. After all, he had not learned the guidance method of the Yijin Twelve Forms in his previous life, and he didn't know where to start if he wanted to continue practicing. However, if he were to create a set of internal skill mental methods himself, it would be purely a pipe dream. Not to mention that he has not yet learned internal skill mental methods in his current life, his understanding of internal skill is very insufficient. Just talking about the internal skill operation route is complex and extremely dangerous, and even a slight mistake can damage the meridians. In severe cases, he may even become demonic and die. The difficulty of creating a set of internal skill mental methods is completely different from modifying an external skill framework based on the original foundation. Any complete internal mental skill in the martial arts world that can be continuously practiced, except for those great masters like Wang Chongyang and Zhang Sanfeng who can independently establish it, is not perfected through the efforts of several generations. For example, the Purple Cloud Divine Skill of the Huashan sect, although based on the mental skill created by Wang Chongyang for Hao Datong, has also been perfected for over a hundred years, leaving behind the prestigious reputation of Huashan Nine Skills, Purple Cloud First. However, some unhealthy internal mental techniques may have no way forward after reaching a certain level of cultivation, and can only be improved by taking risks. Some even have some flaws, such as the star-absorbing technique that allows one to act recklessly. When internal forces conflict, it can lead to death at any time. There are countless examples in the martial arts world where one's martial arts skills are completely lost or even killed due to internal skill cultivation becoming demonic. Just as Yu Fangxing was feeling a little worried, a sound of footsteps could be heard in the distance. Yu Fangxing was extremely sensitive to various breaths due to his practice of breathing. Looking up, he saw Yu Buqiuan, Ning Zhongzi, Ling Hu Chong, and Yu Ling Shan walking towards him. 
It turned out that he had just shouted loudly, almost the entire Huashan Mountain could hear it, and Yu Buqiuan and Ning Zhong naturally also heard it. The two of them were unaware of what had happened. Although there were no fierce beasts near the Huashan sect and Yu Fangxing often ran and played alone, they were also worried that their son might be in danger, so they came out to search. Ling Hu Chong and Yu Ling Shan were familiar with Yu Fangxing's habits, so they naturally brought them over. Yu Bu Chuan walked up and asked, Xing'er, what happened just now? Did you shout so loudly? Upon hearing this, Yu Fangxing replied, Dad, just now I felt a surge of heat in my body. I shouted and it came out. I don't know if it's the internal skill you often say to master brother. Yu Bu Chuan was both surprised and delighted upon hearing this. Has Xing'er already felt the inner breath? Although he had known for a long time that his son could be considered a genius in heaven, and his aptitude was no less than that of his carefully selected eldest disciple, Ling Hu Chong, he was only six years old. Usually, their children may still be fussing in their parents' arms, knowing nothing. Yu Ling Shan was just like that. Most people only experience internal breathing when they are in their teens, and even Ling Hu Chong has been practicing hard for a year in the mountains, and only after passing on his internal mental skills did he experience internal breathing. Yu Fangxing's efforts are usually seen by him, and he never slacks off in daily practice. Unlike Shaner who often slacks off, he fully understood the magic of Jama a year ago. However, he is still young and only serves as a foundation, unlike Ling Hu Chong who watches him practice hard all day. Moreover, I did not teach him the method of experiencing inner breathing, and most of the time I watch him read books. How could I feel inner breathing so quickly? Does God bless my Huashan and send two geniuses to revive my Huashan sect when they see a great change? Thinking of this, Yu Buqiuan couldn't help feeling a little excited and quickly pulled Yu Fangxing over to carefully explore. Yu Buqiuan's true qi flowed through Yu Fangxing's body meridians, and he only felt a warm current slowly flowing through his body, much stronger than what he had just felt. After exploring, Yu Buqiuan only felt that Yu Fangxing's meridians were tough and transparent, which was an excellent qualification for practicing internal skills. There were still traces of internal breathing circulation inside, but it seemed to be out of control and somewhat scattered. He secretly sighed in his heart. He had not learned the method of exercising internal breathing. Another true qi was released to explore Yu Fangxing's Dantian, but a true qi rushed towards him and quickly withdrew it to avoid dispersing. In his heart, he couldn't help but be surprised. How could Xing'er have a genuine qi in his body? Has he already developed his own genuine qi? You should know that true qi and internal breathing are very different. Internal breathing is just a strand of breath in the human body. Some ordinary people have exceptional talent, and even without internal mental skills, they may still feel internal breathing after a period of concentration and stillness. This is what is commonly referred to as sensory qi. However, without internal mental skills and several months of nourishing qi, it is difficult to convert it into true qi and it may even dissipate. Moreover, the nature of the initial true qi cultivated by a person is closely related to the subsequent cultivation methods, which determine the direction of future cultivation and cannot be changed arbitrarily. Therefore, the methods of nourishing qi and forging breath in different cultivation methods are different and cannot be universally used. No wonder Yu Buqiuan was shocked by this. If Yu Fang cultivates a true qi that has no cultivation methods in the Huashan sect, he will have to endure the pain and discard it. However, true qi is a condensed essence of the human body, and forcefully discarding it will cause great damage to the body. It is even more difficult to generate true qi again, and it is unclear whether it can be regenerated. Therefore, unless absolutely necessary, ordinary people will not take this step. Chapter 7 Ejin 12 Forms, 3 you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Yu Buchuan's face gradually became solemn, and a new strand of true qi emerged. He carefully felt the nature of the true qi in Yu Fang Xingdan field. 
Upon careful exploration, it was immediately discovered that this true qi was quite different from ordinary true qi. Firstly, this true temperature and richness are clearly from the righteous path, which is harmless to the body and seems to have a miraculous effect on healing like the purple cloud true qi, secondly, this true qi is exceptionally condensed, although not as refined as oneself for decades, it is not something that ordinary beginners can possess. Yubuchuan couldn't help but think to himself, did other martial arts masters lose to Xinger's body? However, not to mention that there haven't been many masters coming to Huashan recently, but to put it simply, Xinger's true qi in his body doesn't seem to come from outside, but rather condenses from inside, from outside to inside, from outside to inside. Yubuchuan's heart couldn't help but move as he thought of this, his expression becoming even more solemn. Note that it is known in the martial arts world that external skills are difficult to cultivate. Practicing external skills not only requires years of hard work and high physical fitness, but also a major challenge to face is how to enter from the outside. It should be noted that no matter how strong the external skills are, one cannot become the top martial arts master in the martial arts world without cultivating internal skills. The vast majority of masters who practice external skills will never reach the step of entering from the outside in their lifetime, and those who have the talent will go to practice internal skills. Who would go to practice external skills that are difficult to endure and have a bleak future? There are many people in the martial arts world who practice external skills, and there are also a few famous ones. A incense lord named Shue from the demon cult even practiced the golden bell mask and the thirteen taibao horizontally, claiming that no one can break them except for the demon cult lord. However, I have not heard of him practicing internal skills from outside. External skills are inherently powerful. Once one cultivates internal skills from the outside and finds a suitable internal mental method, one must diligently cultivate for a period of time to become a top-notch expert in the martial arts world. Some of the internal and external cultivation techniques in the martial arts world now refer to external skill cultivation. However, although these techniques also have some external skill movements, they are only used as auxiliary, and the core is still based on internal skill. For example, the Yi Jin Jing of Shaolin Temple, although it has a certain effect on the body, its root is still the path of internal skill. If Xinga really enters from the outside, then the future is really limitless. Just because he is young and his muscles and bones have not yet grown, he should not have reached the point of entering from the outside. So he stopped thinking and asked Yu Fangxing, Xinger, how did you get this true qi in your body? Xinger, listen to your father's words and speak carefully, Ning Zhongzi, who was standing beside her, saw her husband's face gradually darken, and felt a bit uneasy in her heart. When she heard her husband's question to her son, she, who was well aware of the danger of her inner strength, also became solemn and said in a deep voice to Yu Fangxing. For a moment, the atmosphere around him also became solemn, and Ling Hu Chong and Yu Ling Shan next to him were even more imposing and dared not speak out. Yu Fangxing didn't know much about true qi. Seeing his parents looking serious, he thought that there might be some problems with his cultivation of true qi. Therefore, he didn't dare to hide it and spoke out in detail about his practice of the twelve forms of Yijin. It's just that things from his past life cannot be said. He claimed that the source was created by himself after reading the classics of Mount Hua. Anyway, there are many classics of the Mount Hua sect, and Yubuchuan dare not say that he has read all of them. Moreover, this set of the twelve techniques for changing tendons is very different from what he practiced in his past life. It's understandable to say that he created it himself. Just like Yang style Tai Chi, although it is just a branch of Tai Chi, it can also be said that it was created by Yang Luchin himself, after all, there was no Yang style Tai Chi before Yang Luchin. Upon hearing Yu Fangxing's answer, Yu Buchuan was greatly moved. In the past two years, he has been busy teaching Ling Hu Chong and has not paid much attention to his son's progress in martial arts. He usually spends most of his time studying, but he never expected to create his own set of movements to cultivate true energy. He had seen the movements practiced by Yu Fangxing many times two years ago. At that time, he only felt a bit of martial arts flavor, but it was not surprising, 
so he didn't pay much attention to it. He just played as a child. I didn't expect him to use those movements to cultivate true qi, and according to Shinger, it is estimated that the breathing method he created should be a rare breath guidance method in the martial arts world. There are also some guidance functions in the movements, but this set of guidance methods should not be perfect. Although it may be able to sense and concentrate internal qi, it would be insufficient to use it to cultivate true qi. Therefore, this set of movements should be a set of internal and external cultivation that can cultivate true qi, not a pure external skill as I thought. It's just that for some reason, my son can cultivate true qi in one go, and it's exceptionally condensed. I don't know if it's a coincidence that Shinger can cultivate true qi with this set of movements. If it weren't for a chance situation, this set of martial arts would be very good. My son is so young that he can create a technique that can cultivate true qi. In the future, he can still do it. Now he orders you Fangxing to practice that set of movements seriously again. Upon hearing Yu Buqiuan's instructions, Yu Fangxing positioned himself, adjusted his breathing, and began practicing diligently. Unexpectedly, at the beginning of his movements, he felt the true energy rushing through the Dantian, as if it was about to flow into the meridians. However, Yu Fangxing's meridians were not connected, so how could the true energy enter? At that moment, he felt a pain in his body and had to stop, explaining the situation to Yu Buqiuan. Upon hearing this, Yu Buqiuan pondered for a moment and said, it should be your breathing method that has activated the true qi, but it cannot be completely controlled. Moreover, your muscles and meridians are not connected, and the true qi cannot move. Don't use the breathing method for now, try it again. Upon hearing the words, Yu Fangxing followed suit and successfully completed the task without using the method of breathing. He also felt that there was still a flow of breath in his body, and after practicing, his Dantian true qi increased slightly. Yu Buqiuan saw that his actions were very different from two years ago, and there seemed to be a charm that was in harmony with nature, faintly reminiscent of his last enlightenment. I couldn't help but nod silently, thinking that it was only after my son's last enlightenment that he completed it. No wonder everyone envies this opportunity. It seems that the effect of the breathing technique he created must be more obvious, but there are still some flaws and imperfections in it, which is probably due to lack of knowledge. Yubuchuan was extremely satisfied in his heart, but to avoid his son's arrogance and complacency, he remained solemn and said, Shinger, you can create this set of movements at a young age and cultivate true qi, which is already very good. However, there are still many aspects of this set of movements that are worth discussing. Moreover, since you have already cultivated true qi, this set of movements has no follow-up techniques. As an auxiliary technique, it is still acceptable. As a main cultivator, it is not enough. I will teach you the internal skill mental method later, and you should practice it diligently in the future. You should know that the path of internal skill is extremely dangerous and cannot be changed arbitrarily. You must remember this. Yu Fangxing listened seriously to his father's words, and he himself knew that being able to create this set of movements was only a matter of greed for the achievements of his predecessors, let alone the profound and extensive internal skills, which were far beyond his ability to voice his opinions. Therefore, respect should be respected. Shinger, have you come up with a name for this move? Yu Buchuan asked. Dad, I've already thought of it, let's call it the Ejin 12 styles, Yu Fangxing replied. Upon hearing this, Yu Buchuan quickly asked, What is the relationship between the twelve forms of Yijin and Shaolin's Yijin Jing? Yu Fangxing replied, It's not a big deal. The Shaolin Yijin Jing is unparalleled in the world, and children only take the meaning of Yijin forging bones. This set of movements has a certain effect on muscles and bones. Upon hearing these words, Yu Buchuan couldn't help but be moved. Shinger's meridians were more resilient and transparent than Shaner's, and his figure was much taller than Shaner's. In theory, they were born on the same day, so there shouldn't be such a big difference. I thought the boy grew faster, but now it doesn't seem like this. Is it really related to this set of movements? Thinking of this, 
Yubuchuan asked Yu Fangxing about the detailed cultivation methods of the Yijin 12 forms, including the breathing method, and he practiced it himself. His drill was different from that of Yu Fangxing. He integrated his own understanding in decades of martial arts experience, which naturally showed a slight humility. It is believed that he had a deep understanding of the essence of Confucianism, while Yu Fangxing leaned towards Taoism. Yu Buchuan practiced over and over again, and on the third attempt, his sense of humility and naturalness grew stronger. Some of the movements he practiced were slightly different from what Yu Fangxing had just said, and even some of them were deleted and modified by Yu Fangxing. Yu Buchuan restored them. Upon seeing this scene, Yu Fangxing was greatly shocked. The wisdom of his predecessor should not be underestimated. Although I felt that my own actions were very suitable for myself, it still seems that there are significant shortcomings, and it may not be suitable for others. And since the originally Jean 12 styles can be promoted as a national fitness qigong in their past lives, they are believed to be suitable for most people, and even if they are not practiced well, they will not be harmful. However, in my past life, I mainly focused on physical fitness, unlike in today's world where I aim to practice martial arts. Compared to others, although some of the modifications I made were inferior, some were more suitable for martial arts cultivation. My father is truly a master of practicing qi for decades. With the foundation of my previous life's heirs and the knowledge gained from my last enlightenment, it took me over two years to realize that the modifications I made were very suitable for myself. By chance, I was able to cultivate true qi. But my father only did it three times to understand its essence and made some modifications. Some of the actions also inspired me, and this skill is far beyond my own comparison. Even if I study for another ten years, I may not be able to achieve it. After practicing three times, Yu Buchuan stopped and carefully felt the changes in his body. Just now, he used the method of breathing combined with movements to barely drive the movement of true qi in his body. He felt that the route was not complicated, but repeated back and forth within the twelve meridians, without involving other meridians. It was quite simple. After this operation, he initially felt a bit uncomfortable, but later it became smoother and smoother. He also felt that although the true qi did not increase, it appeared more rounded, and the meridians were not so swollen. Yu Buchuan was overjoyed. In the past two years, his progress in practicing the Purple Cloud Divine Art has slowed down, far from being brave and vigorous a few years ago. It seems that he has reached the bottleneck mentioned in the book. However, he has the highest martial arts skills in the entire Huashan sect, and there is no one to guide him. Therefore, he can only continue to practice according to some methods described in the book. However, recently, he feels that the progress of his internal skills has been stagnant. A few days ago, he moved an extra week, hoping to make progress. However, his meridians couldn't bear it and there were some signs of rupture. Fortunately, he stopped in time, and the purple cloud true chi had a healing effect. Otherwise, he would have had to recuperate for a few days, but now he still feels that his meridians are slightly swollen. He is proficient in nourishing qi and knows that it will not be good to continue like this. Therefore, these days he has only been reading books to nourish qi, guiding Ling Hu Chong in martial arts, and thinking about how to cultivate next. Unexpectedly, today he was solved by his own son unintentionally. Although his set of twelve movements for easy tendons has a very small effect on his meridians, it is not a problem to relieve his meridian swelling and pain. After a period of time, it is not a problem to move an extra Sunday every day. Note that at the current level of Yubuchuan, he is already one of the few masters in the martial arts world. Every step forward is extremely difficult. Even if he transports an extra Sunday every day and accumulates it over the years, it will be quite impressive. Moreover, he feels that this set of martial arts should have a better effect when practiced from a young age. Ling Hu Chong and Yu Fangxing should be able to practice their internal skills after mastering the Twelve Canons. This way, in the future, the internal skills of Huashan sect disciples should surpass those of other sections.
It seems that there is hope for the revival of our Huashan sect. Thinking of this, Yu Buchuan couldn't help feeling a little excited in his heart. After all, the heavy burden of the entire sect has been on him for years, and he has been walking on thin ice, struggling to maintain it. Although he never forgets to revive the sect, he can't imagine it. Now that he finally sees a glimmer of hope, how can he not be extremely excited? My heart is paying more and more attention to this set of movements. Chapter 8 Selection of Cultivation Techniques You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ning Zhongzi saw her husband's excited expression and seemed to have thought of something. She couldn't help but ask, Senior brother, how do you feel? Is Xinyu's move really effective? Upon hearing Ning Zhongzi's words, Yu Buchuan regained his senses and told his wife one by one what he had gained. Ning Zhongzi couldn't help but be moved after listening. She didn't expect her son's movements to have a certain effect on the meridians. It should be noted that in the martial arts world, the technique of changing tendons and forging bones is extremely difficult to find. The fact that Shaolin Temple's Yi Jin Jing has become a world-renowned divine skill is closely related to its effect of changing tendons. Imagine, if a person's meridians could continue to expand, their accumulated internal power over decades would far exceed that of others. With the assistance of this set of twelve techniques for easy tendons, the internal skills of the Huashan sect would surpass those of the past. At this moment, Yu Buchuan said, although this set of movements is good, there is still some room for improvement. It seems that there is still room for improvement, and I feel that there is still some room for improvement. I think there is a way to cooperate with the mind techniques. I will teach you after I have perfected the root of true qi movement. However, the practice of promoting techniques is not a day's work, and now it has a certain effect. Junior sister, in a few days, I will preliminarily organize and hand it over to you, Shaner, and Chonger. Familiarizing myself with the movements first can also be beneficial. It seems that my Huashan sect needs an additional technique that can both lay a foundation and assist in cultivation. Yu Ling Shan beside her was a bit confused, only knowing that her father had asked her mother to teach him another set of movements. In the past three years, she has been extremely familiar with Zama and has long been a bit tired. Now she has finally learned new movements, which should be more fun than Zama. She is very happy, but has no other ideas. However, Ling Hu Chong could hear it clearly and was greatly shocked. He only knew that his junior apprentice was far better at reading and practicing calligraphy than himself. He didn't expect that he even created a set of movements called the E-Gene 12 moves. The junior apprentice not only used it to cultivate true qi, but also had the effect of E-Gene, which even his master greatly praised. Thinking about how my master would run and play with my junior sister without looking at me, and my qigong cultivation would not calm down. However, my junior brother, although sometimes he also plays with them, spends most of his time studying quietly, which makes me feel guilty. When it comes to the fact that my junior apprentice is about to cultivate internal skills, my senior apprentice has been practicing for two years earlier than him but only has three meridians. I believe that with my junior apprentice's talent, I should be able to catch up quickly. However, I need to work hard not to be inferior to my junior apprentice. When the time comes, even if my master is angry, I will face no shame as my senior apprentice. I have decided in my heart that in the future, I will focus on practicing qigong in martial arts, as well as swordsmanship. After finishing speaking to Ning Zhongzi, Yu Buchuan turned around and said to Yu Fangxing, Xinger, I will teach you internal skills in a few days. Since you have already cultivated true qi, you need to practice qigong and martial arts diligently in the future. You should know that practicing qi is the foundation of martial arts in the world, and once qigong is completed, other martial arts will naturally benefit. This set of Ijin 12 styles will be practiced again when you have achieved internal skills in the future, and I believe it will also work smoothly. Yu Fangxing was very excited when he heard that his father was going to teach him internal skills. His face also showed joy and he asked, Dad, what kind of internal skills do you want to teach me? 
Is it something that senior brother usually practices? Upon hearing this, Yubuchuan felt a bit uneasy. With the nature of his true qi and the level of concentration in his body, although the basic mental techniques of the Huashan sect can also be practiced, it was a waste of his talent. However, his own Zixia divine skill requires deep internal power to be practiced, and it has never been passed down by the leader of the Huashan sect. Although Yu Fangxing has excellent talent, it is too early to appoint him as the head of the Huashan sect. However, the Huashan sect has numerous martial arts skills. Although most of them have been lost due to the Great Incident, some have been preserved, including a mixed element skill that combines internal and external cultivation. Now it seems that it is very suitable for Xing'er. However, although this Hunyuan skill is extremely powerful, second only to Zixia divine skill, its cultivation method is not the same as ordinary internal skills. Since obtaining it, there have been very few practitioners of the Huashan sect, and I have not seen it myself. I only learned about it when my master taught me the position of head. After reading it, it is indeed somewhat different. If Xing'er cultivates Hunyuan Gong, although he can also guide himself, he will have to rely on himself in some places. However, I think Xing'er's talent should be able to cultivate it on his own, right? It still depends on how Xing'er chooses. This child has had his own opinions since childhood. If he doesn't want to, then let's stick to his basic mind techniques of the Huashan sect. It's just a pity, after all, if someone could practice Hunyuan Gong, the Huashan sect would have an additional powerful internal skill that would shock the world. Thinking of this, Yu Buchuan said to Yu Fangxing, Xing'er, with your talent, it's a pity to practice the basic mental techniques of the Huashan sect. There is a Hunyuan skill in Huashan that emphasizes both internal and external cultivation. Practicing true qi while in motion is very compatible with your body's true qi, and there is also a embracing Yuan strength that matches it. These two skills were acquired by an ancestor over a hundred years ago by chance, and are said to be extremely powerful, ranking second among the Huashan Nine skills. However, few people have mastered this Hunyuan skill, and the cultivation method is different from ordinary internal skills. The specific method still depends on your own exploration. I can only provide guidance from the side. If you don't want it, I'll teach you my basic Huashan mind technique. What do you think? Next to her, Ning Zhongzi heard that her senior brother was going to teach her son a mind technique she had never heard of before. She was worried and anxiously said, Senior brother, since no one has practiced it before, let's try and see how we can train Xing'er so quickly in the future. Let Xing'er practice the basic mind technique first. Yu Buchuan said, Junior sister, this Hunyuan Gong has great power, but it must be practiced from the beginning. Neither you nor I can try it. Moreover, Xing'er's true qi is exceptionally condensed in his body, which is also cultivated through dynamic techniques. It has a similar nature to the true qi required by Hunyuan Gong, and is very suitable for this type of internal and external cultivation. I think he should be able to cultivate it. Upon hearing his father's words, Yu Fangxing couldn't help but feel a bitter smile in his heart. It seemed that his displayed talent had frightened his father, and he had treated himself as an experimental subject. I think so. In this life, I entered the state of enlightenment at the age of three, and at the age of six, I created a set of movements that can cultivate true qi, which also had a certain effect on muscle relaxation. I read Confucian and Taoist classics thoroughly, and sometimes even discussed with my father. I was no longer regarded by him as an ordinary child. By the way, there is also a breathing method that integrates into daily life. I don't know how effective it is. Now it seems that it's better not to tell my father, otherwise he wouldn't consider himself a demon. But it was decided not to be too conspicuous in the future. I thought to myself again. I heard from my father that this set of Hunyuan Gong was obtained over a hundred years ago, and I don't know if it's the Hunyuan Gong passed down from Qing Kun and Xie Sun. If it really is, then I will make a lot of money. Although Qing Kun is not the top strong person in Etienne, he is also a top-notch expert in the world. 
After practicing Shaolin Zhiyang Gong, he is on the same level as Sandu, and his Xie Sun became one of the four great Dharma kings of Mingjiao at a young age, and was almost selected as the next leader by Yang Dingtian, which shows that his martial arts are extremely high, among which his Hunyuan Gong is indispensable. Even if it weren't the mixed Yuan martial arts of Cheng Kuan and Xie Sun, it should have been Yuan Qingji's mixed Yuan martial arts later on. Yuan Qingji achieved great success after ten years of cultivation, and was one of the few experts in the martial arts world at that time. Although the martial arts in the martial arts world were extremely popular and generally low, and Yuan Qingji used many moves of the Golden Snake secret scripts to defend against enemies, his internal skills were still mixed Yuan martial arts, and there were not many who surpassed him in the martial arts world. This also shows that this mixed Yuan martial arts is extraordinary. Although he had no one to teach him, with his father watching from the side, even if he made a mistake, he could still use the purple cloud divine skill to help heal his injuries. He didn't believe that practicing for ten years was not as good as Yuan Qingji. Of course, the most important point is that Yu Fangxing does not want to practice the basic mental techniques of Mount Hua. The effectiveness of the basic mental techniques of the Mount Hua sect can be seen from the original book, which shows that Ling Huchong has been practicing martial arts for more than a decade and is still a second rate in the martial arts world. Not only did he almost reach the threshold for practicing the Purple Cloud Divine skill, but he was also far inferior to even a barely called first dot class lecherous thief like Tian Buguang. When you think about it again, the basic mental techniques of the Huashan sect obviously originate from the Chuanjin sect. It goes without saying what each Chuanjin disciple in the shooting and divine sculptures looks like. It's not as good as others who have practiced for several years after practicing for decades. If one or two of them are like this, it's okay to say. If this is common, it indicates that there must be some problems with this set of martial arts. According to Yu Fangxing's speculation, this basic mental technique should have been used by Wang Chongyang to lay the foundation for his disciples, with low requirements for qualifications. It can be said that everyone can practice it, but to achieve great success, it is estimated that it will require a lot of effort and a certain level of Taoist realm. From this perspective, this set of basic mental techniques is very good for laying a foundation, and even if practiced to the extreme, one can become a first dot class expert. However, it is estimated that by then, one's beard will not even know how white it will be. Yu Fangxing doesn't want to be like that. Next year, Dong Fang Bubi, who is now Dong Fang Sheng, will rise to power. In twelve years, the big curtain of pride will also begin. At that time, the world of martial arts will change, and if his martial arts skills are not high, he may not even know how to die. Let's still practice Hunyuan Gong. Although it's a bit dangerous, I believe my father has some confidence, otherwise he wouldn't say it. No matter what he says, he won't harm his only son. Thinking of this, Yu Fangxing respectfully said, Father, I am willing to practice Hunyuan Gong. Looking at Ning Zhong on the side, he was somewhat anxious and said, Mother, if the child is supervised by his father, it shouldn't be a big problem. Besides, even if he is injured, it doesn't matter if his father's purple cloud divine skill is used. Yu Buchuan was pleased by his son's courage, and his gaze praised him. He did have a certain degree of confidence, otherwise it would be a trap for his son. Ning Zhong couldn't bear to see the situation and had to admit it. At this moment, Yu Fangxing remembered another thing. Could it be considered that he had officially learned art? I remember in the original book that although Yu Ling Shan had been staying in Hua Shan for countless years and studying, it seemed that she had not formally become a disciple. When a new disciple arrived, she was called Little Junior Sister. I have been a bit annoyed by Ling Hu Chang's Little Junior Brother, Little Junior Brother, calls over the years. I can't let my father call me Little Junior Brother, even after he accepts new disciples. It's so embarrassing. Moreover, Continuing like this is not conducive to the long dot term development of the Huashan faction. Thinking of this, Yu Fangxing said to Yu Buchuan, Father, when will I officially become a disciple? After saying this, he blinked his glasses at Yu Lingshan. 
Although Yu Lingshan didn't know what was going on next to him, she knew that her younger brother had a much better brain than her, and she followed Yu Fangxing's clamor to become a disciple. Yu Buqiuan had no intention of having his daughter and son apprentice, after all, in his opinion, his son and daughter were born into the Huashan sect. However, when Yu Fangxing spoke in a more formal tone than usual, he also took it seriously and thought carefully. At this moment, Yu Fangxing heard Yu Fangxing say, Father, although my sister and I are already members of the Huashan sect, we have never paid respects to our ancestors. It used to be okay, but now my father is going to teach me the martial arts of the Huashan sect. If we don't pay respects to our ancestors, it would be inappropriate to follow the etiquette. Moreover, this would be detrimental to the Huashan sect. Outsiders would think that the Huashan sect belongs to our Yu family. Besides, my father will inevitably take in more disciples in the future. Will he personally take in disciples and teach them when someone pays respects? How can my father still have time to practice martial arts? In my opinion, it would be best to set up rules now and assign someone to be responsible for it. To avoid causing trouble when necessary. Upon hearing his son's words, Yu Buchuan couldn't help but nod in approval. It should be noted that he usually reads more Confucian scriptures and values his teachers and children the most. He naturally hopes that his disciples and children will do the same. Now, hearing his son's words, he is extremely pleased and thinks to himself. Xing'e not only has outstanding martial arts skills, but also good reading skills. Even Chong'e may not be able to speak this truth. It seems that I have a successor for the gentleman sword. I have decided to choose an auspicious day in the Chinese zodiac and officially accept my son and daughter for entry. Chapter 9 Mixed Yuan Gong You are listening at NovelFull.audio Seven days later, Yu Buqiuan and Ning Zhong led Yu Fangxing and Yu Lingshan to the back hall to pay their respects to their teachers. This apprenticeship ceremony is almost the same as the last one, except that the person who recites the precepts becomes Ling Hu Chong, and the siblings also have to bow to Ling Hu Chong. After the apprenticeship ceremony, Yu Buqiuan announced the rules for the inner and outer gates of the Huashan sect in the future. To enter the Huashan sect in the future, one must first practice at the outer gate for a period of time, and then decide whether to enter the inner gate based on their performance, in order to arrange their seats in order of entry. The position of Ling Hu Chong as the 14th generation eldest disciple of the Huashan sect was completely established. Later disciples, regardless of gender, would call him Big Senior Brother. Yu Fangxing also officially became the second male disciple of the 14th generation inner sect of the Huashan sect, while Yu Lingshan became a disciple of Ningzhong's and became the 14th generation female eldest disciple of the Huashan sect. However, she still wanted to call Ling Hu Chong, Big Senior Brother. However, she couldn't stop laughing and yelled at Yu Fangxing, Junior Brother, Junior Brother, all day, which made Yu Fangxing very unhappy. After playing with him for a long time, he was still the youngest. However, his frustration quickly dissipated. On the second day after his apprenticeship, Yu Buqiuan obtained a secret book, which was exactly the Hunyuan Gong he had been looking forward to. Yu Fang was excited. It was not easy. After six years in the world, he finally wanted to learn internal skills, and his martial arts dream officially began to take off. Although this Hunyuan skill is not the top-level internal skill, it is not comparable to the Nine Yang Manual, the Nine Yin Manual, Tendon Changing Classic and other magic skills. Even Lian Zixia's first dot-rate magic skill is far better than it, but it is the first complete internal mind skill he has come into contact with in the world, which is very suitable for him now. Are you still afraid of not practicing divine skills when you become successful in martial arts in the future? Yu Fangxing took over this book, Hun Yuan Gong, and carefully reviewed it. However, he saw that the source of this Hun Yuan Gong was not mentioned above. He couldn't help but feel a bit disappointed. It seemed that it was from a long time ago, and it was uncertain whether it was the Hun Yuan Gong of Cheng Kuan and Xie Sun. Moreover, this Hun Yuan Gong did not have a thunderbolt hand. 
It is unclear whether the senior did not obtain it or if it was originally not. However, this Hanyuan skill can be determined to be Yuan Qingji's later cultivation of Kung Fu, which is exactly the same as described in the Blue Blood Sword, and is quite different from the general internal skill cultivation. To cultivate Hanyuan skill, you need to learn Hanyuan Palm first, and use Hanyuan Palm to drive the internal skill operation. The general practice of internal skills emphasizes breathing and breathing, meditation, and qi cultivation. However, this mixed element skill has a unique approach, which involves practicing internal skills from the outside in the palm technique. Although this kung fu takes a long time, there is no risk of getting demonic during cultivation, and after training, it is also extremely powerful, far superior to ordinary internal skills in defeating enemies. Moreover, the Hunyuan Gong is cultivated both internally and externally. When facing enemies, each move has internal power attached to it, which can easily defeat and defeat the enemy without hesitation. This is in line with the purpose of Qi Sex Qi Control Technique. After completion, the body's muscles and bones are strong, no less than those of external experts. If cultivated to perfection, the internal power of the mixed element is as good as one, the mixed element is as good as one, and the essence is pure. Combined with the Huashan Breaking Jade Fist, it is invincible and invincible. But there is also a difficulty in practicing Hunyuan Gong, which is that one must cultivate true qi from Hunyuan Palm in order to enter. Otherwise, one will not be able to use the method, and even if one is lucky enough to cultivate it, its power will not be significant. However, this is not a problem for Yu Fangxing. Although the true qi he cultivates is not authentic and is not cultivated by the Hunyuan palm, its nature is very similar, even surpassing it. Moreover, its nature is similar, and only a slight transformation is needed. No wonder Yu Buchuan asked him to cultivate Hunyuan Gong. This skill is simply tailored for Yu Fangxing. Next, Yu Buchuan began to explain the Hunyuan Gong to Yu Fangxing based on his understanding, guiding him to practice the various moves of Hunyuan Palm. Yu Fangxing has a good memory and is diligent in practicing the twelve movements of Yijin. His muscles and bones have developed like an eight or nine-year-old child, and he has excellent athletic talent. In less than a morning, he can play without any difference. Internal breathing also circulates within the body, and a strand of true qi in the elixir field continues to grow. Yu Buchuan also felt relieved upon seeing this, knowing that he would not have much guidance in the future, and that it was all thanks to Yu Fangxing's hard work. After another period of time, Yu Fangxing's Hunyuan palm had become extremely proficient, and the true qi in his body continued to grow, completely transforming into the true qi of Hunyuan Gong. Moreover, it continued to accumulate, and it is expected that he will be able to charge the pulse after another period of time. So Yu Buchuan taught Yu Fangxing the basic techniques and usage of the fist and finger sword, as well as the footwork and body movements, which were even more skillful than when he taught Hu Chong. After all, he had three years of experience as a teacher and taught more systematically. Yu Fangxing studied diligently one by one. On this day, Yu Fangxing finished practicing martial arts and while reading in his study, he saw that Yu Buchuan had hidden worries on his face. He pondered a little and remembered the news that Yu Buchuan had mentioned a few days ago in his study about the rampant killing of people in the martial arts world by the demon cult. It has been two years since the last battle of Songshan, and the demon cult must have regained its strength. It is ready for another invasion, but this time the five sacred sword sect does not know how to resist. He knew in his heart that his father was worried about the power of the demonic cult, which no one could control, so he was worried. Yu Fangxing recalled what was written in the original book and combined it with what he had seen and heard in the past few years, saying, Dad is worried about the matter of the demon cult. In my opinion, it's not necessary. Yu Buchuan looked at his son strangely. You know, the righteous people in the martial arts world are all worried about the rampant demonic cult, but his son said it's unnecessary. He remembered that in recent years, he and his wife have discussed sect affairs without avoiding him, and sometimes even interjected a few words, which is quite insightful. 
He also had some insights on this, so he couldn't help but ask, why do you think this way? You can tell me and listen. Yu Fangsheng said. Dad, since Dong Fangsheng became the vice leader of the demon sect last year, he has let me go and stay in seclusion. Xiang Wendian can't compete with him, so this man has actually mastered the power of the sect. Then, first, Elder One, one of the ten elders of the demon sect, was expelled and surrounded by three senior masters of our five mountain sword sect, namely, Song Mountain Sect, Mount Taishan Sect and Hengshan Sect. This year, another elder Chiu, one of the top ten elders, died in Gansu without knowing who did it. In addition to the frequent internal personnel transfers of the demon sect, it seems that Dong Fangsheng wanted to usurp it. The leader of the demon sect has taken his place. This statement is not surprising, and there are also people in the martial arts world who predict it this way. They just think of Ren Wuxing's terrifying and towering martial arts skills, but they don't believe it, and they all self-destruct their claims. Yu Buchuan also thought the same way and immediately asked, so how did Dong Fangsheng have the courage to usurp the throne? Is he confident that he can defeat Ren Wuxing? You should know that Ren Laomua is equipped with the star-absorbing technique, which is controlled by anyone who competes with him. Besides, his martial arts are also extraordinary. You should know that Ren Laomua and the Left Alliance leader did not use the star-absorbing technique in the last battle, and the Left Alliance leader was about to lose. He just suddenly found a reason to stop. It seems that he had already realized that Master Fang Zheng was coming. This skill, not only as a father, was also inferior to the Left Alliance leader and Master Fang Zheng. Yu Fangxing heard the words and said, Dad, the star-absorbing technique is so powerful that there must be some limitations. Otherwise, why didn't Ren Laomua use it? Besides, Ren Laomua is going to destroy our five sacred sword sect on Mount Song. How could he not have been prepared for Master Fang Zheng? Dad, please think carefully about the situation at that time. I think it may be that Ren Laomua's star-absorbing technique went wrong. Otherwise, how could there have been little news of him in the past two years since the last war? If it weren't for his own problems, how could he have ignored even major events in the sect? Upon hearing this, Yu Buchuan pondered over what Yu Fangxing had said and felt that there was indeed some truth to it. At that time, the situation was indeed somewhat abnormal, but the people of the Five Sacred Swords sect were in a state of confusion. Other people in the martial arts world were unaware of the details, so no one had thought of this. Now, hearing my son say that it seemed to be true, I couldn't help but feel surprised and appreciated his talent. I asked with a hint of relief, Xinger, can you tell me how Dong Fangsheng would usurp the throne? Upon seeing this, Yu Fangsheng knew that his father was testing him. He immediately pondered for a moment and replied, in my opinion, Dong Fangsheng should continue to cut off his loyal wings and then suddenly encounter difficulties while practicing. Otherwise, even if Ren Laomua is slow, he will still notice it, which is not far away. There will be a fierce battle between the two at that time. No matter who wins or loses, the demon sect will be greatly weakened, and it will indeed have no impact on our Huashan sect. After hearing this, Yu Buchuan remained noncommittal. In his opinion, no matter how Dong Fangsheng acted, he was just a clown jumping off a beam. Ren Wuxing has accumulated a great deal of power in the demon cult, and as soon as the star-absorbing technique is used, Ren Dong Fangsheng has a great ability to bow down and slaughter. And he didn't want his son to get caught up in these intrigues at a young age, so he didn't continue this topic. Next, when comparing the progress of Yu Fangsheng's martial arts, Yu Fangsheng couldn't understand his intentions, but he didn't ask much. In the future, Yu Fangsheng worked hard to practice martial arts day by day and did not deliberately pay attention to information in the martial arts world. After all, these things had little to do with him now, and he also knew the outcome. Although his conjecture may have some deviation, it should not be too big, after all, he had been staying in Huashan and did not have such a big butterfly effect. Sure enough, after a while, news came from the martial arts world that a member of the demon cult surnamed Hao had been executed by Dong Fangsheng. 
Although outsiders did not know what position he held in the demon cult, they all knew that he had always been brothers and sisters with the right envoy of the demon cult, Xian Wentian. Not only did some people within the demon cult sense a hint of danger, but many people in the martial arts world also noticed the possible changes within the demon cult and waited patiently. After a year like this, there was no news from the demon cult. Just when everyone thought Dong Fang Sheng was about to retire, news came from within the demon cult that the right envoy of the bright, Xiang Wentian, had defected from the demon cult and that the cult director, Oshing, had unfortunately passed away. Suddenly, the martial arts world vibrated, and the discerning person knew at a glance that Dong Fang Sheng had succeeded in usurping the throne. Although he didn't know how he had won, it was probably due to cunning schemes, and his martial arts could never be compared to those of Ren Wuxing. Not only are the righteous and righteous people overjoyed, but some members of the evil world are also celebrating with joy, thinking that the demonic cult is about to decline and preparing to form an alliance to besiege it, resulting in a bloody sea of deep hatred. Unexpectedly, while the righteous and evil factions were temporarily abandoning their old grudges and besieging the demon cult, the members of the demon cult suddenly arrived. The new sect leader Dong Fang Sheng, with his extraordinary martial arts skills, killed all the people in the righteous and evil martial arts world present with fear. He publicly announced that he would change his name to Dong Fang Bubi, claiming that, the sun rises in the east, only I am invincible. His arrogance and arrogance were indescribable, and everyone in the martial arts world was furious when he heard of it. Subsequently, people in the martial arts world constantly challenged Dong Fang Bubi, but all of them died inexplicably. After a few years, Dong Fang Bubi's reputation shrouded in the hearts of everyone in the martial arts world, and his invincibility was no longer questioned by anyone. Especially for those who have seen Dong Fang Bubi take action but have survived, no one can say a single move afterwards. They are all trembling and dare not even mention Dong Fang Bubi's name. Gradually, the name Dong Fang Bubi seemed to have become a taboo in the martial arts world. However, although the demon cult still acts recklessly, it gradually becomes less active in the martial arts world and no longer attacks major sections. After the sect leader Dong Fang Bubi, he rarely took action. Although people in the martial arts world know that he has excellent martial arts skills, they don't know how high he is. Gradually, Dong Fang Bubi became a legend in the martial arts world, like a mountain pressing in the hearts of every martial artist. Although righteous people hate the demon cult, they dare not cause trouble for no reason to avoid retaliation from the demon cult. The martial arts world is slowly entering a relatively calm period. Chapter 10 Purple Cloud Breakthrough You are listening at NovelFull.audio Practice knows no time, and four years have passed in a blink of an eye. The Huashan sect has undergone significant changes in recent years. The old servants were sent back home by Yubuchuan due to their old age. They also recruited some people as external disciples at the foot of the mountain, taught some martial arts, and did some work of carrying water and firewood. As a result, Huashan gradually regained some popularity and was no longer as desolate as before. Over the past four years, Yu Fangxing has devoted himself to practicing and finally, a few days ago, he was able to establish a complete cycle of true qi within his body. At this stage, Yu Fangxing's Hunyuan Gong can be said to be a small achievement. Afterwards, he can also cultivate the embracing Yuan power, which can be practiced with Hunyuan Palm or meditate and move the Zhou Tian like other internal skills. His progress will also be faster. Nowadays, his martial arts skills can be considered as a third-rate expert in the martial arts world, but of course, he has only reached the level of skill, and there are still significant shortcomings in other aspects. Although there is no risk of getting possessed by demons during the practice of Hunyuan Gong, there is no one in the entire Huashan except for him to practice. Yu Fangxing had no experience when he first Chongmai. If it weren't for Yu Buchuan's protection, his meridians might have been damaged long ago. However, after Xiaocheng, he started to practice and accumulate internal skills every day until he reached a certain level and reached the next level. During this period, 
he only needed to follow the steps without any danger. Therefore, for a period of time afterwards, Yu Fangxing could focus more energy on other aspects. Yu Fangxing has been diligently cultivating his internal skills in recent years, and has also gained a lot. This mixed element skill combines internal and external cultivation, with a large amount of exercise. It also has a special method of refining grains and transforming essence, which can more effectively absorb and transform the essence in food. As a result, his appetite has greatly increased, and his body development has been extremely fast. Although she is one head shorter than Ling Hu Chong, who has just finished her puberty, she is more than half a head taller than the twin sister Yu Ling Shan. Now his physique is tall and robust, and in terms of physical strength alone, he can be even greater than Ling Hu Chong. Nevertheless, Yu Fangxing did not appear robust. Although his face had some edges, he could already see the shadow of Yu Bu Chuan. Coupled with his extensive reading of poetry and books, his temperament was more inclined towards literati. Ling Hu Chong has been working hard to cultivate Qigong for the past five years, but it is still inevitable that he will be caught up by his junior brother. A while ago, he just got through the twelve Jing Jing and thought he could lead Yu Fangxing for a while. Unexpectedly, Yu Fangxing caught up in the blink of an eye, which made him feel really frustrated. After all, Yu Fangxing is exploring cultivation, and he often receives guidance from his master. Otherwise, Yu Fangxing might have already surpassed his senior brother in internal skills. However, although Ling Hu Chang's internal skills were caught up by Yu Fangxing, he was still much stronger than Yu Fangxing in other aspects, especially in swordsmanship. In recent years, Ling Hu Chong has already learned the basic swordsmanship of the Huashan sect and is very proficient. Even when he practiced it, Lian Yu nodded repeatedly, praising his talent. Even when the Huashan sect was at its peak, there were not many disciples with such talent as Ling Hu Chong, much stronger than him. After all, his talent was quite average and it was only by chance and hard work that he took charge of the Huashan Gate. Following this, as long as Ling Hu Chong deepens his skills within two years and learns a set of advanced swordsmanship, he can officially walk in the martial arts world without sacrificing the face of the Huashan sect. He is also quite proud of this. In recent years, Yu Fangxing has focused on palm and fist techniques due to his practice of Hunyuan Gong. In terms of palm and fist techniques alone, Ling Hu Chong has long been inferior to him, and his body and footwork are also on par with Ling Hu Chong. As for the swordsmanship, Yu Fangxing only learned a few basic techniques such as picking, stabbing, wiping, and cutting. This is not that Yu Bu Chuan did not teach him, but rather that Yu Fangxing had to focus on his martial arts and had no time to worry about it. Secondly, he is well aware of the importance of fundamentals, which cannot be achieved in just one or two days. Therefore, he devoted three to four years of time to training these basics, almost turning the skills of drawing and stabbing swords into physical instincts and practicing both hands very proficiently to avoid situations where one hand is not enough. Although he has not officially learned the Huashan sword technique yet, his precise sword techniques combined with strong power can also be used to compete with Ling Hu Chong in a few moves. Yu Bu Chuan saw him like this, so he did not force him to learn the Huashan sword technique. Yu Fangxing has achieved a small success in his internal skills, and it can be said that he can go up and down Mount Hua. This is because a few years ago he stole onto Chaoyang Station, and Ning Zhong was greatly worried, so he was given a designated range of activities. He was not allowed to go to some dangerous places to avoid accidents and rescue efforts. Now that he has achieved a small success in his internal skills and has a certain foundation in his body and footwork, he naturally has no problem. Therefore, Yu Fangxing took the opportunity to visit Mount Hua and fully enjoy its scenery. Yu Fangxing walked around Huashan and really found a good place for him, which was the Chaoyang Terrace he went to when he was a child. This Chaoyang Terrace has an open terrain, and the sunrise can be seen on any sunny day, which broadens people's minds. Moreover, in his previous life, when reading immortal and martial arts novels, he often mentioned swallowing the purple breath of Chaoyang. Therefore, every morning I climb onto the Chaoyang Terrace, meditate in front of the sunrise, 
activate my internal breathing, and then play the Hunyuan palm a few times. This is true every day, never slacking off, and sometimes even pulling on Ling Hu Chong. The two of them practice together and encourage each other. Yu Buchuan felt a bit strange when he saw him like this. One day, he asked him, Xing'er, why do you go to the Chaoyang Terrace to practice every day? Isn't it the same in the martial arts arena? Yu Fengxing replied, Father, I have seen from books that some ancient cultivators of immortality and qi were able to swallow and exhale the morning purple qi every day. Although I don't know why, I think it has a certain effect. Moreover, when I watch the morning sun rise and the purple glow fills the sky every day, I seem to have some enlightenment in my heart, but I can't say it. Besides, daily ups and downs also help to cultivate body methods, so I go up the mountain every day. When Yu Buchuan heard what Yu Fangxing had said earlier, he didn't think much of it. He thought his son was lost in reading Dao Zong and wanted to teach him a good lesson. When he heard the sentence every day when I watched the sunrise and the sky full of purple clouds, I seemed to have some enlightenment in my heart. A spiritual light flashed in his heart. The sunrise and the sky full of purple clouds, were the ancestors of the Huashan sect also able to create this purple cloud divine skill by watching the sunrise and the sky full of purple clouds. In recent years, although Yubuchuan has practiced the twelve techniques of Yijin, the limitation of insufficient meridians has been alleviated, and his internal skills have also been continuously accumulated, making him more resilient and robust than before. According to Yu Fangxing's speculation, he should almost catch up with the skill of Shao Ao at the beginning of the original book. However, it has never been able to break through to the next level of Zixia divine skill, and the use of Zixia true qi is still elusive and cannot be achieved as desired. But let's talk about the characteristics of Zixia divine skill. This martial art originated from Hao Datong and was created by the founder of Chuanjin sect, Wang Chongyang, based on the characteristics of this disciple. Later, many ancestors of the Huashan sect used this as a basis and combined various divine skill techniques to break through this divine skill. Therefore, Zixia divine skill can be said to be an authentic Taoist internal skill. Like other mystical martial arts, the Purple Cloud divine skill emphasizes accumulation, with stronger power as it progresses further. If one reaches the highest level of the Purple Cloud divine skill, there may be some or no true energy when using it, but it is unstoppable and overwhelming. The ancestors of the Huashan sect relied on this to win the prestigious reputation of Huashan Nine Skills, Purple Cloud First, which is highly respected by people in the martial arts world and is known as Divine Skill. Therefore, the power of Zixia Divine Skill is naturally immense. However, although Taoist martial arts are moderate and peaceful, they can be continuously accumulated, but they also have a characteristic of slow cultivation and extremely difficult achievement. The same goes for the Purple Cloud Divine Skill. The first few layers of this skill are basically the foundation. Although it can also enhance power, it consumes a lot of internal energy and cannot be used easily. Only when the Purple Cloud True Qi fills the whole body can it be used freely, truly unleashing the power of this skill known as Divine Skill. Since the creation of the Purple Cloud Divine Art, the ancestors of Huashan throughout history have mostly been trapped at this checkpoint when practicing the Purple Cloud Divine Art, and Yubuchuan has been doing the same in recent years. He has been staying at this level for many years and has already reached the breakthrough requirements, but has not yet reached the direction of the next level. In theory, the path of internal skill is the most difficult, and sometimes it is normal to be stuck in the same realm for decades. Moreover, Yu Buchuan is only in his forties, and reaching this level is already considered very good in today's martial arts world. But now that Mount Hua has declined, and although Yu Buchuan's strength is also considered a skilled figure in the martial arts world, it cannot be considered top.notch. Not only is it inferior to top.notch experts like the Song Mountain leaders Wu Lingshan, but even the random combination of two members among the thirteen guards of Mount Song also makes him afraid to win. Moreover, since the gradual convergence of the demon cult in recent years, internal conflicts within the Five Mountain Sword sect have begun to emerge. 
the Song's Han sect is dominant and gradually shows a tendency to dominate the Five Mountains. Although Zhuo Lengshan did not make any major moves, those with intentions in the martial arts world can perceive his ambition to annex the other four mountains and stand in opposition to Shaolin Wudang. Yu Buqiuan naturally noticed that although he didn't show it on his face in recent years, he was actually anxious and constantly searching for various methods to help him break through, but none of them had much effect. Recently, he had been thinking day and night, almost obsessed. When he heard his son's words, he remembered the sunrise scene he had watched a few years ago, which matched some of the secrets of the purple cloud divine art. Suddenly, a spiritual light flashed and he sat cross-legged on the ground. At this moment, various insights flooded in, as if the various key points of the next level of Zixia divine skill were right in front of us. Some things that were not usually understood were also understood, and the true qi of Zixia in our body began to operate on its own, like the Yangtze River, surging incessantly. The purple qi around us was steaming, and we couldn't help but howl in a longitudinal voice. This sound was like the roar of a dragon in a vast expanse or the roar of a tiger in a deep valley, transmitted from afar. Yu Fangxing saw Yu Buqiuan's actions on the side. At first, he was a bit strange. He knew that his father valued appearance and never showed disrespect in front of others. He also maintained his image in front of his disciples and children. Now, he suddenly sat cross-legged while speaking. I think he must have understood something and couldn't wait. When he saw the strange phenomenon on Yubuchuan's body, he couldn't help but be overjoyed. Although he had not read the Zixia secret script, he also knew that Yubuchuan's Zixia divine skill was about to break through. When I heard Yubuchuan howling loudly, I was even more surprised and delighted. I didn't expect Yubuchuan to reach such a state. It should be noted that when a person reaches a certain level of internal skill training, they often unconsciously make loud noises. After reaching this level, as long as one diligently cultivates and practices, one day they will reach the ultimate level. Huang Yaoshi, one of the five wonders of the previous generation, only reached this level after the age of 30. It can be said that Yu Buqiuan is quite extraordinary to reach this level now. Even if he becomes a top-notch expert, he has great hope. Yu Fangxing always thought that his father's martial arts skills were not very high, but this was the impression he had formed when he was studying. In the original book, although Yu Buqiuan was also a top-notch expert in the martial arts world, the overall impression was that his strength was not strong. It was not until he practiced the Demon Repellent Sword Manual that he defeated Zuo Lengshan with trickery. However, he still couldn't compare to Ling Hu Chong at that time and could only be considered a top-notch expert. In fact, to be honest, in the original book, when he did not study the Demon Repeating Sword Manual, his internal skills were only slightly inferior to those of Left Cold Zen, but he could not fully exert them. Later, facing the pressure of merging factions, he had to rely on the demon repeating sword manual. It can be said that this exorcism sword manual has some connection with the purple cloud divine skill. The exorcism sword manual comes from the sunflower treasure manual, and the purple cloud divine skill of the Huashan sect also draws on the sunflower treasure manual in part. The two have some similarities, which is no wonder Yubuchuan plotted to seize the exorcism sword manual in the original book. However, this life is different. Yu Fangxing Zi Jin 12 moves unintentionally enabled Yu Buqiuan to continuously accumulate his internal skills. Speaking of internal skills, Yu Buqiuan can be said to have almost caught up with the level mentioned in the original book seven or eight years later, and has already reached the requirement of breaking through the next level of Zixia Divine Arts. It is just one step away from the door, and now this step has been added by Yu Fangxing's careless words. The howling of Yubuchuan lasted for about a meal before gradually falling silent. This time, everyone on Mount Hua was startled, and they didn't know what had happened, so they all came to watch. Upon seeing this, Yu Fangxing was afraid that everyone would make a noise and disturb his father. Therefore, he hurriedly maintained order on the side, while Ning Zhongzi also stopped the disciples nearby. 
These people also speculated that Yubuchuan had made a breakthrough and fell silent, afraid to make a noise. Even Yuling Shan, who usually enjoys making noise the most, dared not show her composure under the care of Ning Zhongzi. When Yubuchuan finished breathing, she opened her eyes and saw Ning Zhongzi's voice was full of joy. She asked, Senior brother, have you made a breakthrough? She also knew that Yubuchuan was going to make a breakthrough, but it was just a short step, so she asked him. Yubuchuan looked around and said with a smile, We have already broken through, but it is still slightly unstable. I think it will be over in a few days. Upon hearing Yubuchuan's words, everyone was quite excited. After all, the stronger the strength of Mount Hua, the higher their fortunes naturally rose. Perhaps the leader would be happy and accept them as disciples, so they could also dominate the martial arts world. Yubuchuan was very pleased to see everyone like this. Although the current Huashan sect is weak, it does not have the tense atmosphere of the previous Qi sect sword sect. The system is more perfect and everyone is also making progress, presenting a vibrant momentum. He usually has a crush on a few disciples from the outer sect. Today, with great joy, he saw everyone's performance and became more and more satisfied with it. He decided to admit a few more to enter the inner sect and brighten the lintel of Mount Huang.